Last time, our wonderful adventurers continued their adventures beneath Barovia, or the Castle Ravenloft. Now, for those of you who are um, not quite familiar with the land of Barovia, where this adventure takes place, it is a demi-plain, a land completely separated from the rest of Faerun, um, ruled by an ancient vampire lord named Strahd von Sarovich party is trapped here in Barovia and have learned that should they perish or fail to escape, their souls will be trapped here in perpetuity. Frightening to those who have experienced just a bit of it. Um, we have had quite a few adventures in Barovia, too many to recap, but the important things to know right now is that there are some important artifacts that the party has recovered they are told will be instrumental in defeating Strahd von Sarovich. They have recovered, at one point they had all three. One, a tome detailing Strahd's weaknesses has been given up. Another one now has gone missing. The party- We never, we never had them all simultaneously. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh. But the Shocking. party now lie, er, is in Castle Ravenloft down in the larders of ill omen yeah, beneath never, the main we, level of the castle. You never completed the Triforce. And yeah, I know, it's sad, right? And have just executed a sort of small creature that seems to live down here making soup out of zombies. Thinking surely it was him that had um, stolen the holy symbol but as his head tumbled into the soup and was gnawed upon by a half-cooked zombie as you looked through the body you found no sign of the symbol now it should be said though you did find um i believe maybe just waldo pickpocketed an iron key uh and then um also there was a strange pendant that he was wearing um, it's tied on a little piece of twine. Looks like a, um, it's almost like a wooden eyeball, but um, it looks very lifelike, very similar to a human eye, but it's covered in some type of lacquer, kind of varnished. Is it a human eye covered in varnish? Good question. Um, it's, oh. It sort of looks like a varnished eyeball, yeah. That's well, great. I love that. I don't think that that is what we're looking for, but I did find this key. Maybe this will be important. Oh, and he's dead, by the way. Wow, yes, Jeswaldo, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Maris starts well to retch. <laughs> she runs <Yeah>. away. <laughs> Not in the soup. <laughs> Into the soup. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to get any worse. The soup, True. then. Seriously. What else is in this room, the M? In the room with the um, with the the soup pot. Yes. Uh, so there are um, besides the bubbling pot, you know, eschew, eschewing no noxious. Oh shit, eschewing oh. noxious fumes. <laughs> That's hard to say, by the way. Not <laughs> bad. Not bad. Um, New tongue twister. There is. Uh, there are tools hung on the walls on brackets they seem to be almost judging by what you see in here it's kind of confusing because they could easily be seen as torture instruments but also the sort of uh bits kind of hanging off of them you think maybe he was using them for food preparation maybe a little bit of both it's hard to say there are a little bits bit of, of cross flesh, contamination <laughs> bits of flesh and blood are um uh all over this table. Yeah, I'm not uh, the sorry table has gone straps the and chains. By the way, that look like oh. it could easily hold down a uh, a body of some type of humanoid. But this hey. is not his his room. This look. This is just a cooking chamber. There's no bed. There's no wardrobe or anything like that. That's right. right. Looks like a kitchen. Have we been in this room over here? Yes. Okay. Um, I remember doing that. Um, oh, 
if I, had, I may have revealed it uh, by mistake, but easy to find here, then this would be his what you would think That's to be his what room. I um, there's a sagging bed under a huge faded tapestry that depicts Castle Ravenloft. Um, so there are also just thousands of pieces of junk strewn across the floor. Swords, crumpled shields, um, you know, helms, bits of stray, rotted armor, that kind of thing. So All the things that were crushed by the elevator. <laughs> not all the things. <laughs> no, not I see all what you them. did there. Weak. Well, uh, do we continue to search for the holy symbol of Ravenkind, or do we search for our wizard friend's sister? If Silas took... Cyrus? Cyrus. Cyrus. Cyrus took the amulet, which we're not even entirely sure that he did. It may very well be somewhere else in the castle. We have no thread on where it could be. Um, probably the most secure place that Strahd could put it. If well, Strahd it's probably right would, next to the bed, yeah. right next to the book. If I remember rightly, Meris was preparing locate object. I was. So would you like to give that a shot, see if you get anything off of that, or? Yeah. I would love nothing more than to do that. All right. How uh, how long does that casting take? Uh, so the casting takes ten minutes, and I'd been preparing it. Gotcha. Okay. So, in casting your spell, um, within one thousand feet of you. Interesting. You, that is a lot you of do judge that that probably would um, be the uh, uh, entire castle. Perfect. And as you close your mind and open your sort of sixth sense out into the world, um, you get almost a vision of the castle bathed in moonlight. You feel your eyes, your senses. It feels like you're passing through walls, um, all shimmering, silvery, diaphanous, and then going out, 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 as if you are. Your consciousness is being pulled far out and behind you. And you're looking for a spark, something to indicate where this object might be. But just the silvery moonlight shimmers begins to fade and you are not sure where this object is so bad news guys I uh didn't oh my god sorry that was something that is the signal of head. no luck on your spell <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um the yeah, I didn't... calls out to me <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you it's not here <laughs> I couldn't I, could, I couldn't see anything that's I distressing don't... Savar's gonna knock on the door. Are, are we are we done in the stink room? Yeah, we should probably get a move on. Yeah, we're done in the stink room. All right, where to? Well, it's not here. So I guess we're gonna go find the crypts. The Try crypts. again. The crypts has promised. The room with the flame and the took us back to. Uh, Balaki. Balaki. There were steps that went down there, right? Yes. Maybe that's the best plan. Take the mundane route, yeah. Do we do we find anything? Do we do we know where the There's also some steps in the floor. Uh, well this floor. guy was really unhelpful and we were talking to him and his head fell off. Uh, very, very strange. We're going it's... to go down the steps again. Everyone um... I lean over towards Cyborg Jeswaldo killed him. Uh, out of curiosity, so you've taken his key. Have you taken his pendant? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Alimus? I will check it for magic if we have time. Go on, can I search it and do an arcana check on it to see if it could be magical? Um, are you... Are so you are you detecting magic or just making a uh, examining it with Arcana? E examine it with Arcana first. Okay. 
Uh, go ahead. 25. Um, very likely. Um, this seems to be um, it, a profane magic, certainly. Um, um, perhaps a focus or a sensor of some kind. Um, maybe there are things here that it protects him from. Or protected him from. I could not from me, at any rate. <laughs> someone to keep an eye on him. Ooh. Literally. Oh, shit. Did, Claire, did he attack just Waldo? Was... No. And he... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, and Alimus told him to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> that makes that makes more sense now. Yeah. Get those fan conspiracy theories going. I love it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he was cooking people. It. I mean <sighs> This wouldn't I be the first time we killed someone for doing that. That is worth saying out loud about this. Well, where are we going? Um, time is a wasting. Well, we're waiting for Elimus to figure out whether this thing is actually worth us taking with or whether it's going to be dangerous. Can we walk and talk? Elimus. I'm assuming I can. I mean, did I get anything from that, Peter? Sorry, I was fixing webcams. Um, yeah, it's definitely, um, it is without a, without a doubt, magical. The exact purpose is unknown, but it is a... Um, a Mm -hmm. It's been created by foul magic, um, Can you know, like uh, cast evil, talk? evil druidry or hags or some sort of corrupted nature magic has created Ooh, this. Love that. I need to identify it if we have time. Everything. I mean, that's not my call. Is do we have time? I frankly have no idea. I mean, we we tend we were mm -hmm. cast out of the castle and then brought back. We had to find our way back into the castle. It's it's been some time. I think our friends are in need of help and, and maybe less murder along the way. I guess. I mean, just just bit molding. Selective here. murder. Well, you would have done the same thing, I'm sure, Saibo. I mean, no. He was a monster. Do you not destroy monsters? I mean, the, he was cooking different people. Size what is the first off? Those I think were zombies in the pot, right? Think they were you, undead already. You think? Do we know that they were undead first? I suppose that's better. I guess. I don't know which. Is... I mean, yeah. I think maybe what Sivor is wondering about is the attitude with which the kill was made, not so much the kill itself. I was trying to bluff him. Oh. Did it matter? I will start studying this thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought, mm, I thought he was serious. Serious about what? Well, he told me to kill him, and so I did, but apparently he was bluffing. Now I understand. I will remember that. So if he ever tells me to kill anyone else, I will maybe have a think. Yeah, next time just have a, have a think. I'll make sure I Paris wink at you first. Pass him on the back. Ah, yes. The signal. The old think and wink. The old think and wink. As opposed to the wink and think. Oh, <laughs> wink. Do it. <laughs> so, Elias. You know, sometimes I hear him whispering under his breath that I should kill other people too. Oh my God, Elias! Wait for the wink. Wait for the wink. Yeah. yeah. Right. I thought it was rather obvious. No. Wait for Elias to go wink. <laughs> Meanwhile, so while what we're is waiting, this thing? Jesus Christ! People are going too fast. What's going on in chat? Hang on. They're winking <laughs> and thinking yeah. and sending us thinking so so much. We got, we got bitties from Ugluck. Ugluck's back. Oh, no. Hey, Ugluck is back. Ugluck is back. Ugluck is back. back again. It's about time. If you Ugluck haven't got inspiration, back. roll for a d20. <sighs> Ooh. I got a 
got it last I time. I was so excited. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't so have that. We have. Uh, I've already got it. We have Elena with a seven, Jaswaldo with a 14. Five. Meris with a five. Five. Okay. Okay. Five. The oh. DM got a 20. Let's I think roll. that's going to take it. And Thanks, yeah. Agluck. You just killed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're so glad you're die. back. I don't think that's, I think that's it. I don't think anybody is going to beat that. Thank right. you very much, Agluck, Thank for you. your Killing generous it. donation. I was about to say Thanks thank you, Pixie. TPK. No, um, no. We have a new oh, patron we got Agluck back. Oh, awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> Yay, oh. Aglock! So, so you much die. more than one god. That's all right. For reals. I have a question. Yeah. What's Whoa. up? Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I turned turn into someone else. Um, I have this vague recollection that I, I may have popped up these stairs to check what was up there, but I can't remember if I did that. So if I you went up about ten to twenty feet and th saw that it was continuing upward. Yeah, okay, so great. more than 20 feet up and you didn't want to run away from your party. So yeah, that's legit. Goes up a ways. But so uh so then we're looking to go down, right? To the to the catacombs. We could just try this stairwell right here. Right. That's Careful the one we did before. Just there's I'm not saying we should I mean that should definitely be I the way we go. We know where the traps yeah. are, we know what to expect. We should go that way. Well, yeah. okay. As you guys are talking and um, Elimus is casting Identify, you've just about made this decision and turn looking in the direction of that doorway and you see having just slipped through at some point a um, figure leaning against the doorway into the Hall of Bones where you were earlier. Someone you've seen before. Ah, this bitch. Sorry. That guy. <laughs> oh my god, hi! <laughs> is it that toad-eaten bastard from before? Yep, it, it is. is. <laughs> it is. I do That's hope you toad. only come down here to find some refreshments before retiring to your rooms. Yeah, of course. Of course, Maris holds up her wine glass. I was just finding... You know, you should be the last person who told us to go to bed did not do so well. Because we um, were just, we talked to them for so long, they got really bored. Just fall down. <laughs> Is this a wink moment? Oh, just let it go. Winking. I would just caution you. Do not take advantage of our master's hospitality. I think that we were under the impression when we first came here that we were here for dinner. There was nothing in the invitation to suggest that we were staying the night, and so I think the first time it was mentioned, we were all a little surprised. Pray tell me, how did you come to find yourselves down here, then? Curiosity. Hmm. One foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. We want refreshments. It's a very big castle. Some might call that rather presumptuous and rude. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, that's us, right? I mean, we right? never said we were going to be well-behaved yeah. guests. <laughs> You'll find my master is surprisingly forgiving. Leave what is his. Find your way to where you need to be. And do it where's quickly. That? Hmm. Or you could just. You're welcome to ascend and stay. Watch out for the elevator trap, though, as he smiles. Are there signposts? Are there people going to tell us where we're supposed to go? Because we clearly have no idea where the fuck we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way. Up. You'll well, come to a landing with a beautiful yeah. portrait and a nice rug. There, I'm sure you'll run into dear Escher, and he will show you to your rooms. Again, leave what is the master's. Do not steal from him. Nobody stole I anything. You. Yeah, I don't think we have anything, do we? Nobody got Guys? anything. No. Just being sure. Oh, of course. No, no, no. We're, we're impolite, but we are honest. Okay. 
his eyes glance over all of you. A wink. <laughs> Is it like a quick one or like one of those <laughs> yeah. like... Oh, it's gotta be the full. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Except you can't really do that with the mask. It would be like... No, a it's just the, awkward, the light. Like, his little just goes light out. Goes, his laser. Ah. As you were then. Do not test his hospitality too much longer. And he will, without a sound, open that heavy door, slip through it, close it again. Are we in trouble? He's talking about the same guy who fireballed us, right? Yeah, that, that yeah. was him. Uh, so hospitable. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, no, 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 that wasn't No, him. he just left. The fireball was from fireball that weird from fox right. dude. No, uh, he, uh, no, no he Strahd fireballed us. Yeah, yeah I thought Strahd fireballed us. No, oh, he's Strahd fireballed. He must do. What is our, what is our, <laughs> what is our, <laughs> what, we're not going to do anything they tell us to do, correct? We are, I mean, the next time we see him, we should just attack that guy. Well, so it's I, it's us versus the castle, correct? So was that was that wink the wink, or were you just doing a thing? Forget about the wink. We are here. Castle. We are here to get the skull. We are here to help our friend with his sister and get out. Is that the plan? That was what we came in yeah, for. The, yeah. Then yeah. let's yeah, kill everything that, that gets in plan. our way. I think that if we walk a fine line here, Strahd like smashed us right so if we piss off enough with his people we'll piss him off and then he's gonna walk right back down here and eat us like we're a it could get away, snack but fine like you i i'm just pointing out that this <laughs> running around willy-nilly in here isn't gonna do anyone any favors Claire. Lead the way. I love the tone you use when you say that. Um. Well, no, I'll put it to the group. Clearly, we need to go down. The catacombs, yeah. We yeah. know the way down, so let's go. Says, He's going to point it out there. I think that's going to piss off his allies at Derby Strad. So why don't we just kill things anyway? We, we can't wage war on everybody in the castle. We'll never get out of here alive. No, it's not safe for us, just Waldo. Mm. Well. So what about this eye? Well, I must have figured it out yet. Well, I miss your identified button, spell goes off, and you know this to be a hag's eye. Used by hags to keep an eye on things. Sure. They are directly I've bound to them. Destroyed one already about a day ago. <laughs> you destroyed a heartstone. Oh. I believe. Oh. So what can I do with this hag's eye? Is it a magical item that I can use, or is it? Um. Should be destroyed? Only it if you're not, a hag. <laughs> it is not one that you can use. No. Yeah. It's something so, that I would want to destroy then, surely, or is it valuable? to keep it they can see us through it don't they yes yes that's the purpose of it stick it up your butt <laughs> why did i have a feeling that sean was going to say either like <laughs> put down your pants or stick it up your butt or some sort of scene <laughs> like i i uh wait till everyone's quiet and they all look and i hold it up in front of me and then i do i give it a wink And that's it. I say we should destroy this. Toss it in the pot. That won't destroy it. Can I destroy it? Yeah, but how no do we destroy it? Looking for it. Do I know how to destroy it? Maybe if we throw it in that fire. Hmm? That the fire is about doom. Real fire. Cast it into the fire. Cast it into the fire. Cast it into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we begin our way towards that fire? Do I know how to destroy this, Peter? Um, it is not. Uh, the lacquer that is sort of covering the eye is not uh, it's not like hard like glass you think it would actually be easy to destroy 
really by mundane means. Do I know the consequences of doing that? Is there any benefits to not doing it? I mean, obviously, I've you don't think of it, any but... benefit that you could. You, you don't think of a way that you could use this particular item, um, unless you were to learn hag magic and create one of your own. It would. Yeah. It's pretty much. Unusable why would to have, you. Why would he have had it? Is a question to ask. It's a question. It's also because we fairly don't... low on the priority list. Mm. It could be. It could belong to that hag we killed, or. We're not sure if one got away. Regardless, it's it's how he keeps tabs on his people, so... I chuck it on the floor, and I say, Cyborg, stamp on it. Alright. Cyborg, I'm going to take my whip out and just... Crack it. I said, stamp okay. on it. No. <laughs> you got to do it with style. Step on it. Witcher, witcher, witcher. You caught me in the eye. You whipped me in the eye. 26 to hit. I'm going to step away. Absolutely hits. Roll your damage. Oh, oh. Five slashing damage. Mm -hmm. All right. It's, it makes a crack. And then <laughs> this sort of um, viscous black goo sort of oozes out of it uh. and begins to hiss onto the floor. See, then... That's why you don't step on things made by hags. You get that all over your shoes, throw out your shoes. Finish it. Does it look sufficiently It seems destroyed. Voice? Yes. Delightful. As we're walking away, I will rare frost it just to make sure. Okay. <laughs> and then carry on walking. All right. Where are you guys headed? Down. 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 To Goblin I Town. Down to say down. we're going down. The, um, the floor here seems to be reset as it was before. So when we it's crossed over when we got fucked by it. Um, all four of us were on it before it went, right? Yes. So we, we already I'm going to try stepping on it. Yeah. We know if four I people... Look, I look yeah. up. Right. Then We've we can come through. Yeah, so we're over, we, we go over one at a time. Is there any... Is, is the elevator here or is it on its way down? It's here. It is it's here. It's there. It's present. All right. I'm going to jump over it completely. Yeah. Cyborg. Well, actually, Cyborg waits for Acantha, and then he carries Acantha over the elevator. Aww. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. We Sorry. didn't realize his Cyborg's wings be... weigh four people. <laughs> Just one You way, can easily circumvent it as long as about a thousand pounds of you are not not a thousand, as long as a few hundred pounds of you aren't standing <laughs> on it at the same time. Whoop. It does not trigger. So ferrying over certainly works. And you head down to a Man. familiar area below, waterlogged. Um, the faint mm -hmm. smell of perhaps burning curtain or some such is mm -hmm. you can smell. I wonder where that um, came from. Mm. Yum. Hey, don't yeah. don't forget about the traps that were here. Yes, we walk gingerly. Stepping around them. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll we, just say we down here it will be here. easy for you to um, uh, remember those um, particular locations. Okay. Should we put ourselves into the room with? It's the up to you. Thing? There are um, you have cleared this area. Um, yeah, so we put it down if you room. plan to just go okay. back to yeah. the uh, ritual room, kind of where you started, um, you yeah. can do so. The room with the um, the gems and the brazier. Oh, God, this is Once here. we are all up, I'm going to uh, pull up the rope and put it back in my pack. Um, which one of these After stairs go the down? What? This one. Was it the, that goes the, up. Oh, that goes uh, up. Never mind. Uh, this, this one. one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's it. And it's partially flooded. All of these uh, seem to be. Yeah, you've destroyed most of these doors. Um, you're about to destroy, or you've destroyed this door. The other one opened for you. Yeah. This one in the middle here descends downward into what looks to be water. So um. One goes up. One goes. Down and then one seems to sort of be almost on the same level as the other side. Up, down, flooded, mm. up. up but not, levels. but not completely flooded. Like it would be about at like our. I don't our, know. Let's go find out. Well, do we? So, 
I'd walk down and uh, sort of like do careful for the the next level. Okay. Uh, here it seems the water is about. Um, let's see how. Uh, oh, so um, this is uh, this is my fault. You go and you see this um, water. I think it's sort of murky, but almost in a milky way. But as you um, approach it, you realize that it's just a thick, thick layer of fog on the ground. Huh, kind of tap your foot where you think the edge of the stair <laughs> would be. It just um, ascends maybe up to your knee, but not much further. One or oh, two feet. actually, here's a question for you before I forget about it. Um, back mm -hmm. in the brazier, is there... Or is there not a green stone present? Uh, there is. Reset. And That's the, good. Um, all of the sand in the hourglass seems to be at the top, stuck at the top mm -hmm. again. And the flame burns a heatless white. So the stairs down, right? Not the murky, milky fog area. That is the only down. Let's Everything try the green gem. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Good. However, it's funny. It's the we could just keep doing it over and over and over. Yes. <laughs> it's hysterical. Um, you have a strange sense of humor. Oh, thank you. That's a lot of walking. Um, All right. Ground fog day. Jiswaldo. Yes. Beep, 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 beep. Absolutely. And I will stealth. Oh, and you're being given express permission to move outside of 10 feet from me. Thank you. 21. All right. I think he disappears from most people's vision. As he hits the dark fog. Jaswaldo, do you have any source of light? Nope. It is inky blackness in this hall. Um, I can see for 120 feet. <laughs> All right. You I'm sort look. of peering around the corner. Yep. Okay. Can I reach? Yeah. Can I reach my sword around the corner? Just while it sort of sinks down into the fog. <laughs> hmm. gotcha. You're hiding. Great. Hilarious. Stop doing it. Um, it seems to extend quite some distance. And then there's a single door. It's not exactly very far down. Thanks for the gift itself, Pixie. Thanks, Pixie. Oh, cool. Claire. Hey. <laughs> yes. When you were a little startled, I saw. Which this does your not appear to go. Your have no effect on me. This, uh, this, uh, this area does not seem to go very far. Should we try perhaps using one of the stones? There was one about a tomb, wasn't there? Um, there was a master's tomb. Wrench. D DM, can we get the text of that again? The, um... Sure. Um, let right. me uh, repost so this. I, got it. Do an intelligent I was just check. looking at it. To see where they go. Oh, I found it. I found it. Oh yeah, Hold Violet on. Mountain Spire, Orange Castle's Peak, Red. For those, see. excuse me, sorry. Uh, for those of you in chat who are wondering, um, this is the inscription on the the uh, brazier that um, they use to teleport themselves accidentally mm. back to Valaki. Um, this is what it says. Forgive the formatting. Let's see if I can. It's fine. It's fine. Can I try to work out? Without going through them, where each one would go. We know where some of them are. Well, we know where the green one goes. We know the green one. We think the violet is up to the Ember Temple. Ember Temple, yeah. And then Orange is self, self evident. Yeah. I mean, lore if, is what you seek. That would be a, a, a library. A library, maybe? Yeah. Did, is there, was there a, a sort of a, a collection or a. a a depository of knowledge in Barovia that you've come across? We've or? not encountered anything like that. Just Indi the library in the Amber Temple. Indigo could go to that celestial. 
I was thinking the same thing. But while they're discussing this, I pull out a ball bearing. Okay. And I roll it down the hallway. Um, you hear it just sort of click, 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 click over the stonework. Um, these are flagstones cut into this uh, rough cut tunnel. Um, seems a little bit different from the con the rest of the um, uh, the the construction of the rest of the castle. Um, but you hear it roll, 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 roll. Would you like some light just while to, to check the corridor? Eventually. That would be very helpful, thank you. Possibly sort of we'll clatter bury. to a stop. No. Dami Hilux, right? Oh, Dami no. Hilux. Ah, better when you say it. Yeah, it's better when he says it. I wish I could do that. And I will cast that on a bull bearing and hand it back to him. All right. Yeah. You bowl down a lit version of one of these ball bearings and it goes down the hallway. And now you all can see as um, it's kind of creepy looking as this um, light is sort of um, shaded beneath this mist and it sort of winds its way, just this um, glowing splotch upon the mist all the way down the hallway, casting light. The whole chamber seems identical all the way down, just almost cylindrical cut and about six feet high and it rolls to a stop near the door. I put the odds that this hallway is trapped at about 60%. Sounds about right. I thought you would walk down there with a the light spell, not throw it down there. But, okay. Well, you could do it again, right? I could do it again. That be he loves. Always cool. All right, I'm going to take a few steps and uh, just see if I see anything on the floor or anything on the ceiling that would indicate that there would be something here that could kill me. I whisper to Cyborg as he's walking off, it's probably a good thing that he can't do anything like that. Okay. So, uh, uh, sorry, guys. I uh, that, cast, uh, cast light on his balls. <laughs> well, I missed the hey. last. <laughs> I, I mean, missed the last thing that, uh, that just Waldo said. If you uh, can do wink. it, what's going to stop you from doing it? <laughs> Maybe Cyborg it's good. I like, didn't hear whatever blink, it was. Blink, blink. <laughs> Uh, I'm making a perception check to see if there's any uh, thing on this hall that looks like it could kill me. Okay, go ahead. I've rolled a two. Uh, it's a friendly hall. A good hall. <laughs> yeah. What did I say earlier? I've been in a hall before. Let's this could it. be one. Not a dry, nasty, sandy, but sandy hall. But it was a misty hall. And that I, meant no traps. Murky, murky, milky. milky. So, it's a murky, milky hall. Shall we... Uh -huh proceed down the hall, or should we go through the flame? How, how tall is the hall? Six feet. This oh. hall looks a Do perfect place. Do your wings fit in a six-foot hall? I mean, for it'd be, a, it'd be, it'd be a snug fit. Uh, DM, could I fly down the hall, or would I be... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. This you're still a medium creature, so you only take oh, up a five-by-five no. five sp space even when you're flying. Well, yay! This... On the wings of bone! All right, so... I, before you go, I say, this place is a perfect place for a trap like a lightning spell. Yep. Be very careful. So, don't fly down the hallway? We shouldn't all go at once. We shouldn't all go at once. Well... So, good luck, Cyborg. Uh, I'll be back Paris? here. <laughs> What's... Uh, I don't like that. Can't be any worse than getting hit by the elevator. Right? Sorry about that. It's all right. Just had to level with me. Uh, and yeah, so Cyber's going to take a little flight down the hallway. Hang on. Um, okay. I think Liz does anything to attempt something. to murder me while I'm heading down the way? You guys see Cyvor flap off. Slap skeletal off. wings <laughs> clacking a little bit against the stonework as he goes. Wait, wait, Sival. Let's grab his shoulder. Wait. Too late. It's too late. Too late. Way too no. late. Too late. <laughs> too late. Too wait too late. But before uh. before anything else happens, Patron Pixie has come in. Yay. Uh -oh. Pixie! 
with Here. 300 oh, bits. Good. good, you're gonna give the DM inspiration <laughs> too, Pixie. Everyone roll. Yes, Waldo has rolled a Press seven, DM Jesus. has rolled a ten. What is this? I rolled a four. I, I rolled a natural one. I got a twelve. Oh, so you won. What, 12? Oh, I got a twelve? Oh, Oh, thank God, I got that. <laughs> this is for, sorry guys, this is for a D6 inspiration. Oh, D6 for a D6. This has to be used tonight. Hold on to your butts, I got this. Oh my no, god. <laughs> so, well, I beat Ryan. Everyone, That's what everyone matters. Everyone rolled underneath. Guys, keep Funny. that up and we'll be in good shape tonight. Yeah. Uh, the winner <laughs> is, oh, winner is I don't Shale. Like that. Thank you, Pixie. Thank you very well. Thank you, Pixie. Pixie. All right. Yay, Pixie. So Yay, bad it's Pixie. Cyber that's got to get killed. Yeah. Cyber, oh! you reach the end and you see that Baby. this isn't a door. Oh, God, you suddenly go minute? around and you no hinges, nothing. Does it have a zipper? But it seems to be a solid piece of stone set into the end of the hall. Oh, thank God I'm not being a falcon right now. I don't know what the hell I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, so yeah, it looks like just like a slab. Sort like of a slab. wily Coyote painting of a door? <laughs> Uh, so from way back, it would have looked like a door. It's shaped door, sort of door-like. But as he gets closer, he notices it is just set onto the wall. It is a um, any it is a, a stone slab. DM any um, inscription or, or writing or any sort of uh, sigils or anything I can see on the door itself. Um, no, but you can not immediately obvious. But to examine a bit more, you can make an investigation check. Should you like? Just well done. <laughs> Did you say investigation or perception? Uh, oh. you can do either for this. Oh God. All right. <laughs> this is I'll a good time proceed. for the one to Not just roll With a dirty 20. I don't think it would all reach down there. Um, True. With a dirty 20, you look around, you can see that um, this... Uh, the way that the bottom of this door, or this door, this um, slab is worn... Um, it looks like it can be moved, but mm. there are no hinges. Um, it looks like there is, um, with enough strength or, you know, the right tricks, you could move this piece of stone out of the way. Hmm. Put it's the candle back. <laughs> what? Come up what? to the lab and see what's on, oh, the, it's on the slab. slab. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so uh, ready. it's a slab of stone. Uh, slab, yeah. slab of stone. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Cyber, it does come echo back. back. back, back. <laughs> Should I push it? It, it, it? No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> no. S -S 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 -S. Was, wait, it, it's really echoing here. Was that a no or a yes? No. Yes. Come no. back. Shut up, just Walter. Come back. <laughs> What the heck? Yes. Come back, back, what the back, heck? back, back, back. <laughs> All right. It's Cyborg, elbows you, just uh, Walter. <laughs> there seems to be some debate about what to do in your companions, but the decision is yours. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to push it. Good man. All right. Cool. Good. Good luck. Nice I don't like it when Peter says oh, cool. Look at him rubbing his hands. Make a strength check. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. Bad news bears. Oh, bear me strength. All right, so uh, at advantage. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my inspiration for this strength Aww. check because I'm. Um, probably use do that you for have a save. inspiration? Inspiration, or is it d6 inspiration? I have inspiration. Inspiration. Oh, all right. Yeah. Then roll at advantage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. With my avantage, a 16? A 16. You push and push, and then you hear a grinding sound. You guys hear this echoing down the hallway, this grating, grinding stone sound as Cyvor seems to be pushing this stone slab aside. See? No problem. Do you have any dark vision, Cyvor? I have my um, my sword, which is a moon blade. Then how how much um, light are you shedding? It's fifteen bright, fifteen dim. You reveal. Oh God! 
A room beyond, you see a couple doors. Uh. And one thing you notice for certain is that the ceiling here is moving. It's almost undulating. The same uh. mist covers the ground, but now uh. there is this movement above. Nope. And you nope. see nope. Nope. shifting mm. slowly or above our thousands and thousands of bats. I... <clears throat> no. You notice, you can see, um, you can mostly see this door and this door. They are similar slabs to what you have moved out of the way. Um, this is most certainly an enormous catacombs. They all have, all of the stone slabs have inscriptions upon them, it seems. So. Cyborg, what do you see? Shh. See, see, see. I really want guano. Shh. I, I take one of the lit ball bearings, if they're still on the floor, and I hurl it back down the hallway at Jeswaldo. <laughs> they're, they're not lit. Jeswaldo's carrying the lit one. Oh, gotcha. In that case, you just see a little ball bearing rolling back into the light. That and dead. that's what you see. Okay. I okay. suppose we can move forward. Uh, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna start to fly back down the hallway as quietly as I can. <laughs> okay. Um, and in, well, let's see here. Let's see how uh, is the entire party? Yep, nope. Because you guys are real good at staying alive. Good on you. All right, so uh, he's going to fly back down, come around the corner, boom, and be like, I found the catacombs. There, there's a slab. And I pushed it. And it went, kind of settled, sounded like just Waldo at night when he grits his teeth. Um, so, uh, uh, but there's there's more catacombs. There's, there's more, uh, I think we found the place. But there's bats. There's lots and lots of bats. We have to be careful. Do you want me to talk to them? Oh, yeah. That yeah. would be. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was thinking we should ask as Alimus to just fireball the place, but if, no. uh, Akantha I thinks that she could talk to them. This the is not one of those wink situations, Claire. Yeah, think before you wink. Before you I wink. didn't wink. <laughs> Thank the God. Thing, don't. I still think this corridor's a trap. There how must be something in the saying? catacombs. About what? how many bats? All oh, the bats. All, All of the bats? bats? All the bats. Like a, like the ceiling was undulating. Well, Ooh, Kanta, good vocab you think you could good get word. those bats mm -hmm. to I read. understand that we are just passing through That's and we do not bad. mean them any harm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. How about it? I'll go with you. Well, I, I, um, maybe I'll, Jeswaldo should not go with her. I'm going to take a Kanta down the hallway. I think that's yep. the moral choice. Okay. Seems wise. Okay. All right. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. While I go down there, I'll say, Helpful Flat, help me search the floor here for any pressure plates or any traps. Okay. And I, will... I look back at the group. It's almost like they don't trust me. <laughs> I would investigate. I can't imagine why. Uh, with advantage, if I can. 21 DM. The disdain was not hidden. <laughs> so once With a 21, really? you see a um, 10 by 10 spot that seems like it would most certainly give out should about 100 pounds or more step upon it. Mm. A trap door. Right. So Cyvor is going to go ahead and set Akantha down uh, on the opposite side of the stone slab doorway. And then say they're they're just inside there. Be careful. Okay. Okay. I don't think I don't think they'll hear me. And I will tiptoe in, and I'll look up, and I'll be like, "Hi, bats!" And I'll cast my speak with animals. Okay. Um. They will uh, kind of. <laughs> Why so loud? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um. Excuse me. If my friends and I are really, really careful, can we pass through here? Huh. 
boss says okay. If boss says okay. Okay, thank you so much. We'll be really quiet, okay? <laughs> Sorry to wake you up. And I'll wave and I'll go back. They said that as long as we're really, really quiet, we can go through. It's okay. But we have to be really quiet because we're trying to sleep. Did they say anything else? That's going to be really hard for Claire and... Maris. Maris. Keep my name out of this. <laughs> you keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> you, you've joined the Clank Club. The Clank Club. You cannot Club. rescind your membership. So what did um, they... What did they say, Akatha? They said we could go through and... Uh -huh. and... Yeah? Uh -huh. Okay, great. Um, um, what, like, I'm gonna pull yeah. Back in. Come through. Nothing's gonna oh, try to yeah, eat this, is it? What about this trap? Uh, see if you can disable it, maybe. It's a pressure pad. Is that, the, is that the possible? Is, is it even possible? Is there any kind of a mechanical and element that, that can be done? Now that he points it out, you can see that it is a, um, you know, it, a... Uh, just a simple trap door that probably has a trigger related to weight. So, um, depending on your role, you think you might be able to disable this. It's not a, uh, um, it's not Wait, a well, complex uh, mechanism. Stand back, please. Image roll thieves tools. I rolled a twenty-four. Okay. Uh, with that, you are able to. Um, what you think you finding? Um, just a, a few bits around a couple chunks of stone and um, very deftly using your tools and other things to sort of uh, I guess block uh, and the uh, I'm sorry uh, the, the sort of the crevice and not allow it to drop down. You're sort of able to stop up the trapdoor. You think that probably as long as you go one by one you'll be able to walk over this. Cool. Very good. I'm still so going to run and jump wanna... over it, though. Can the group see us? Who's who's coming down the hallway? Can we see them? Uh, I think Joswaldo's got a glowing ball bearing next to him, mm -hmm. so as he's disabling this trap. And okay. see you so, yeah, you got can the see. Sword, so. Yeah, and, then, and I've got my sword, ca so I, I'm going to, like, signal everyone to sort of come down the hallway. All right. Shh. Casimir will do so. I will jump over and move up. As Kasim has already moved up to trigger any traps that may have been further up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks, Casimir. <laughs> Should I? What are, what are the to odds go... there's going to be more than one trap, really? That's what everyone always says. Maris, what's the problem? I was just wondering if I needed to roll stealth if I want to go down the hallway. I didn't. Not Only if you want to do it stealthily, but you just saw Claire stomp up ahead, so... Yeah. Uh, Maris does want to try to be a little more stealthy than her clink clink <laughs> twin, so... <All> right. <laughs> Go Matt, ahead and roll your stealth. Just Waldo training <laughs> the use, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, she's Give me a special she's lesson. <laughs> I don't want to know Ooh. about any special lessons he's giving. I was like, Wink. in the middle of a catacomb? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, it just everyone hears Mara's coming, but you can tell she's <laughs> yeah. trying to be quiet. Oh, hang on, no, 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 hang on. She's Kush. got to roll again. She's got to roll again. Is she singing Why? theme song? She's got this what? disadvantage, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, she does she have disadvantage. Uh, yeah, I am Kronk. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I was unconscious for this. You are so adorable. <laughs> And I, oh. and I gotta watch that later. Yeah. The eight stays. <laughs> well, um, DM, may I stealth into the room? Oh, uh, you may? You may. <laughs> you have to be... Where the hell they go? Yeah. I crouched down into the mist. I missed him. Yeah. Tell me what I see. Missed it. Oh, Ryan. Um... Let's I quit. see. I quit. Casimir steps into the room, and with I his mean... light spell, That's you right. can see a bit more. It looks like the light is just shining on sort of endless tombs, as well as a seems to be a portcullis up Pleasant. here, up at the top. I don't. But I don't there know, are I don't tombs say upon tombs upon tombs. What was his sister's name again? Um, 
Her name was um, Patrina. Patrina. I will begin looking for Patrina. <laughs> okay. Uh, Are you bringing a light source with you? I have got the ball bearing. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to sort of, as I have it, I'm going to have my, my hand over it. So I'm shielding the light from the ceiling. Just making, like, trying to make the light shine just in front of me. Okay. Um, it will be, um, you're, you know, you are, you feel like you're hiding the light from a good portion of the room and everything, but um, holding an actual light, shining it on things in complete pitch blackness is going to make it harder to hide from your companions if you do that. But you are or, certainly well, not making much sound. No, so, I don't, yeah. I'm not necessarily trying to hide from my companions. I'm mostly trying not to disturb the bats. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Talking about uh, bats. I'm just saying that uh, it's it would be a uh, easier visual check to find Can you. we see the bats um, clearly now? Oh, yeah. Um, Thousands can I determine if they're just the normal of the bats? Ceiling. Are they just normal bats? Um, make a nature check. 14. You guys look around. Um, uh, 14, yeah. Um, yeah, normal bats. Not like vampire oh, as bats. As far as you can or... tell. Mm, no more... V you hesitated. Uh, vampiristic... No more vampiristic <laughs> than any of the other animals you've seen in Barovia. It's too long! <laughs> but are they um, cute? <laughs> Peter? Yeah. 120 feet? 120 feet. Is that cute or crispy? Um, you can kind of get a sense of what the room is like. Wow. Oh, what? Who Who are we looking for? Petrina? Petrina is a sister. Mm -hmm. Search if there's any sconces down here. Is there any wall sconces? God, this place is here. Poppy! DM Oh my word. Oh. Alright. Giving you a sense. What the puppy? God. You can assume that it is symmetrical. Holy shit. So we have this. There's like six Katrinas. Cavernous. We're not space. looking for Katrinas. We're looking oh. for. Oh. Katrina. Well, that would have uh. helped. I wish I had known that earlier. Is I there any wall the sconces? So can... Um, no. Probably oh, because anyone else who has to come down here can probably see in the dark. A good point. You can see that this stairway descends a bit. There's probably a room over here. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna just slowly start moving forward, perusing the various doors. Sure. Um so you as as you go and look about, um no one is who who's searching just while they're searching specifically for Petrina, yes, carrying yes. the light. Alright. Um did we split up or, or is what else what is everyone else doing? We Just following stay along in or small groups. looking at other things? Um, you notice behind you, it looks like you emerged from what was designed to look like a tomb itself. You've emerged from it, and behind you oh, okay. is written the phrase Herein lie the ones who walk the path of pain and torment. Just oh, you move good. around the one that you just passed says oh. um and Dorovich the terrible what the blood of a hundred wars did not do the spurn of a woman accomplished this is the epitaph moving on we've all been there so <laughs> right have we <laughs> wink if, no no if you take some time to look <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, assuming you're ignoring anything that does not say Petrina, you will find her name. Petrina Velikovna, bride, on this oh, door. Oh, no. All right, well, I don't mention that right away. I want to look okay. at some more of these. Um, DM, I make my way. I Actually, I'll start here. I'm going to cross making my way around to each door this stretch. Okay. 
All right, guys. Um, time <laughs> for indeed. some note taking, maybe. I'm going to put little numbers by each of these crypts. I'm so ready. You uh -oh. can. Um, Let me bust out my map making skills. Here we go. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. All right. Let me get my pencil. Does number didn't... this one up at the top here says. What number does that say? I can't see the number. It's a two. Okay. Where is it? Oh, I see. Okay. I'm so ready. It says Artista de Slop. Court Searing Painter. Fortunate Excuse name. Excuse you. It says what? Not very nice. De Slop or De Slop? The what? Uh, Artista de what? De Slop. De Slop. De Slop? De Slop. Yeah. Oh. That was the court so finger weird. painter, you said? Yeah. Ceiling painter. Or ceiling painter. So oh. someone had a sense of humor for this. One. Here's a question: Should we all assume that we're all together for all of these, or is it possible? I think for that might be the best thing. To, okay, easier, to easier do. on you. Okay. Yeah. Got um, it. number three. Um, lady, uh, Isolde the Incredible. Wait, purveyor three. of antiques and imports is number three. Where's that? Going that across. Sense. Yeah, okay. Takes it a second. Number three. Three. Lady. Lady Wat? Lady Wat? <laughs> He's all the incredible. He's the incredible. He's all the incredible. I'm her transporter. He's all the incredible. Incredible. This is all we're doing. What, tonight, what, guys. what was her moniker? <laughs> Um, of... She was a purveyor. Uh, of purveyor of antiques and imports. With every Friday. <laughs> purveyor? I hardly know her. <laughs> hey. Get out. Oh, Get man. out. Hey. This... Hey. 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 Guys, this is the real trap right here. Just... <laughs> Just so this group of puns. No, we'll never leave. <laughs> Sick to die later. later, and Maybe. you just see uh, <laughs> you just see skeletons pointing and laughing at the tombs. Amazing. As you move across, you can see through the portcullis into this room to the north as well. Um, that will reveal a Ooh. larger tomb Number behind one. the portcullis. Hey yo. Hey you. Uh -huh. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry, there are white marble steps here, descending to a tomb that has a vaulted ceiling, you think probably 30 feet overhead. There is a stillness, like a calm before a storm, felt here. In the center of the tomb, a white marble slab supports an intricately inlaid coffin. Chiseled on the slab, you can barely see is the name, Sergei von Sarg. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Son of a pup. It's the brother. Mm. Wait, the headless brother? No. What? 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 <laughs> Who is it? Was, wasn't he the guy? No, Sergei is Strahd's, um, Strahd's brother. Right. Didn't he get his head He down? has a massive issue with because Tatiana, like, got with him. Right. Wink. Not like got with him. Got with him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I got with them. All right. <laughs> so running through these guys, um, yeah, number four just, then yeah, is Prince Ariel the Heavy. Rude. <laughs> Freaking rude. Our tank Svilovich is number five, friend and member of the Barovian Wine Distillers Guild. Oh. That just says wine, dude. Yep. H here. Saint Markovia, dead Ooh. for all time. Six. Oh, they, yeah, that should have been six, right? Six. Seven. Endorovich. The, oh, you saw that one. Endorovich the Terrible. Um, we have Duchess Dorfnia Dilisnia. Don't worry about that one. Um, <laughs> we have Piddlewick, Fool oh, of Dorfnia. Yeah. Piddlewick's my favorite. Mine too. <laughs> Sir Lee like the Crusher. Bigger than life, he loved his jewelry. <laughs> Good 
we have yeah. if any of these are of like interest like oh i want to go back and look at that uh just let me know uh, tasha petrovna healer of kings light unto the west Ooh. servant companion all right we have king troisky the three-faced king does not sound good there is King Katsuki the Bright, ruler, inventor, and self-proclaimed time traveler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. Sure you Stabal are, Stabal Indibak, a truer oh. friend a ruler never had. Here lies his family in honor. Oh. Stabal in the back? Got it. <laughs> hey. Kazan, his word was power. <laughs> Claire's face. <laughs> yes. It's not Falona. <laughs> she had many followers. Uh, 18. Oh, what? Yeah, we'll go oh, through this no. top half. My, no, my I, I had 16 as the last yeah, one. I have 17. Yeah, 17. 17. <laughs> wow. Guys, scroll down. Sir Cedric. Uh, or Admiral uh, Spinvitovich. Confused though he was, he built the greatest naval force ever assembled in a landlocked country. <laughs> <laughs> this was living for this. When I was a lad, I loved to tell. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 18 is um, Irina Kolyana, wife. Welcome back to that one. 19 mm. is... Artemis, builder of the keep, thou standest amidst the monument to his life. And then you have. So he built the place? That's cool. Okay. Sasha Ivliskova, wife. <clears throat> and as you're getting about that way, you're coming upon Katrina's um, tomb. Now, Jaswaldo, if you're looking to. You've noticed this. If you're diverting the attention anywhere else, it's up to you. But um, Where you've, is you've it seen it map? before, and your a party is about to wander that way. Okay. This here. Oh, I mean, there's no reason for us not to. <laughs> DM, do we see what he has? DM, do we see anything down this hallway as well? Yeah. Or? Okay. Um, there is sort of a landing here, the ah. circular landing and okay. stairway ascending. Okay. Can we see what's over here? Um, there is a bright curtain of light that seems to fall across Weird. here. Mm -hmm. Soft blue curtain of light hmm. gently floating between. Uh, from here, it's hard to tell, but it looks like there are maybe some alcoves on either side. Not often we see a light source in this castle. Maris definitely wants to check out the healer's tomb. Um, let's let's grab the rest of the names and then we'll we'll go back through and see which ones we want to check out. I oh, think I found the uh, Patrina. Where? And he that's comes. her there, right? He kind of goes and places a hand on the slab. Yes. Well. Have a happy reunion, and just Waldo backs away. I need. What was um? What was the name? Like, or it said, bride next to it. Uh huh. Okay. I need help. I cannot move this by myself. I will assist. Yeah, I I'll help. Perhaps best if you two do it. Ever. Yeah. All right, where is everyone at the moment, too? Just curious. I'm sure. going to go stand by... Um, on was it there one, the Markovia? St. Markovia. St. Markovia? Which number was that? that? Was it was towards the beginning. Six. No. I'm going to go stand up there. Markovia was six, yeah. <laughs> Just was well, like, I'm going to stand all ho 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 um, DM, for the sake yeah. of my notes, can you tell me how many numbers there will be? Um, Forty. Thank you. I will check the, t the door of the tomb that they're about to open for traps. Okay. Everyone, as I walk back, I say, don't forget about the bats. 17. 
Oh, it doesn't doesn't seem trapped. I still step okay. back. Well, it's a good thing. Okay, uh, Claire, on three. Uh, yeah. Do are we going to need to make a roll for this DM? Mm-hmm. Similar to the um, first one, it's a heavy stone slab that is on, put you know, in say front like of a it. scale of like, I don't know, one to twenty. <laughs> How strong are you? <laughs> Who me? Yeah, you. Well, uh, I've got, uh, I'm proficient with my strength, but I'm only a twelve. <laughs> truth okay. be told, so. So, for the roll, do you want to help me? Oh yeah, I have a, I have plus two. Okay. Her. Ooh, 22. You feel very <laughs> strong, and yes, you pull aside the um, stone slab, and um, you see a figure, her the standing up, actually. Her head is down, sort of wispy clumps of hair coming over her face. And she seems to be sobbing, and she looks up, and you see this I desiccated, the corner. <laughs> thin face. Oh. And she <laughs> lets out this enormous Fuck. scream. I need everyone to Banshees. <laughs> roll a um, a uh, constitution saving throw. Oh, good. And then we will hit initiative. If you're oh, within 10 no. feet of me, you get a plus four on that. Oh. Oh. I am, Versus. am I? God damn. Damn it! Is there a range to the um, the thing? Wait, I'm in ten feet of you. For right a banshee's right? wail, it's everyone who can hear it. I have my earpods in. I know. <laughs> I have, my, I, have uh, my, I have my earbuds. You I do can't not hear need you. to make the um oh. save. Are you off by yourself there, uh, um, Akantha? I was checking out Mr. Pitawick. Hey, Peter. Who yeah. does not need to make the Did save? Did you give me an aura? Mm-hmm. Can I have it? Yeah. Can I? Have it? Um. Let's see now. I don't like it. The, the initiative. Oh. Oh. Sorry. 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 Oh. Oh. You've got a uh, ten feet. Yeah. Oh, thank the gods. Okay. Yes. So there's no, there's no, there's no range on it. I still have to make the. All right. Uh, you do, you do. Yep. You do yep. not. Yep. Sorry. You're. That's what I meant. You're. Oh, well, I'm good. You're clear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so okay. So he's clear. Is a clear as well? Akantha, so like those of us who are by ourselves. Akantha oh, is. Uh, um, oh no! Let's oh, see. No! Akantha is clear. <gasps> Before, has everyone has everyone made a save yet? I was going to say, Manx is just coming well, with three hundred bits. If everyone wants to roll at, for a D six inspiration. Ooh. Am I? Oh. I'm at 40, 45, 50 feet. Yep. I oh, got for you. God's yep. sake, a natural one. Uh, Elena is rolling yikes. one. Nine. Elena a seven. Maris a nine. DM also a one. And Sorry. here it comes. Oh, here it comes. I feel it. Deswaldo has rolled a three. All right. <laughs> Did um, I get it? The winner is Teresa with a 13. Yeah. I will also roll the one. As a flat, if you would like, you can add this to your saving throw. I'm oh, she can hear it as well. I'm to do that. Uh, I'm going to roll with inspiration, DM. So I'm going to untick my inspiration. You haven't um, rolled already? I haven't rolled yet because I was. Okay. Nope. Well. Uh, 22. Thank. Maris, nice job. <laughs> wow, thanks. It's all in the wrist. Clearly, she. Uh, Athelflaed, <laughs> so you have a d6 inspiration. So I yep. think your first roll was a, uh, was a it's 9. A so you. So you can it's just a 15. roll. Fifteen. The nine was my initiative. First one. Oh, I'm sorry. So mm -hmm. I just rolled a fifteen plus the five because I did the d6 just in case. So Look I got it. You guys. Just wanted to make sure I said thank you to Manx for those three hundred bits. Thank you very much, buddy. Manx is so great. Manx came out to my stream yesterday, and we had a lot of fun. Go, he Manx. Did. Yes. Yes. He did. I was streaming right, at the Manx. same time, and he was like, "Jay, do one. I'm off to watch Teresa." I said, "All right, mate. You know." It was um, great. We had a sing along. It was wonderful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds so fun. All right. So, who did anybody die? No. <gasps> About almost. Seriously? That's exciting. We all saved? Yeah. 
<laughs> um, you all take those of you. So besides um, Jeswaldo and Akanta, uh, uh, everyone else takes, come on, 13 points of psychic that. damage. Mm. That's, for, that's with a save, yeah? Yep, that's with a save. save? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's not Akanta. You are out of range. Oh, no. That was 13 ouchies? As was Jeswaldo. 13 yep. psychic ouchies. All right. Thir Ouchie! Which I feel oh. like all of 2020 has just been psychic ouchies. It's been <laughs> ah, there you go. I don't go. want to talk about it. Cyvor, this um, <laughs> True uh, sort of this desiccated form of an um, elven woman stands in front of you. Uh, patches of hair coming off her face. Um, looks like she's been crying tears of blood. Uh, a tattered robe is almost falling off of her gaunt figure. Do what I? Do? Uh, do, so do I recognize this as a banshee, considering the just the attack mm -hmm. she just gave me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I look over my shoulders, like, "That's your sister." Does he nod? Uh, he, he nods and he says, oh, "Crap! We must first put her spirit to rest." Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then, uh, fail to so then, that moment. yeah. So then. Cyvor, oh, well, Cyvor, she's plenty in range. So uh, he's going to go ahead and start cracking. So first with a moon touch sword. <clears throat> Anticlimactic. First with the moon touch sword. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Well, 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 was it good? Was it good? Was it good? Nope. Uh, if you're if you was, are declaring a 10 as your final, that yeah, will be a, a ten miss. Was my, the form floats back out of the way and your sword does not bend. Work. And then the whip comes right after that with a nine. Man, she's fast. Yeah, she is. She's oh, uh, sort of darting it out of your way. You think you, you kind of go for the head and you see the head just completely crack 90 degrees sideways to dodge out of the way and it uh, and I burn cracks a, back upwards. Burn a, uh, burn a key point and do flurry of blows. First one well, that 28 20. will do it. That's a natural sure. 20, by the way. Is oh, it real? look at yeah, that. Yeah, these, the, new format is, the format has ruined it. You rolled a natural 1, and then you rolled a natural 20. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I think it should still factor the crit. Yeah? All right, let's find out. click damages. No. You just what? have to put um, your... That is a like lie it. and a half. Yeah, it definitely nope. didn't. Go roll another d6, then. Thank you. Do Good you have it. magic hands? I do have magic Ooh. hands. Okay. Personal question. Come on, home. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I do. Stuck in my ten damage down. on the first one. All right, All right. so well, we got the flurry continuing. Right, so. This one. All right, so that's ten points of magic damage, and mm -hmm. the second hit from the flurry of blows is a that's nine. Wrong. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, you know. Automatic that's miss. Rough, I'm sorry. Buddy. One out of four ain't bad. <laughs> Anything else for you, Cyborg? That's rough, buddy. No, so you just see Cyborg <laughs> like bad. crack the whip, throw the sword, punch, and then like turned into the moon. It comes around and seems to connect. <laughs> She's really hard to hit, guys. Got it. All right, um, Elimus, you're up. Oh, really? Uh, okay. I move around to the opposite side of the wall so I can actually see her, and I will point at her. And <laughs> speak their words. <laughs> A potent galu damnum. And cast rare frost. That was like strangely like colorful. Well, kind of upbeat. I said it completely yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I pointed at her. 22 is a, a hit. That's probably not going to do any. It's because it's cold damage. I'm clicking the roll damage. Click. Roll damage. Can someone else click it? Doesn't it doesn't seem to want to do it. No, I can't click it either. Oh, that's good. Oh, that must be a roll 20 thing. So, all right, uh, go ahead and roll your 2d8 to see what damage you might have done had she not been immune to cold damage. Oh. And we will. Is there anything else you would like to do? Well, cast myself. Um, oh. 5, 10, 15, 20. 15, that is. 25, uh, 30, just to move out of her sight line. <laughs> All right. She will turn to you, Cyvor, unhappy with you, and oh. reach out to touch you. Uh, does a 14 hit you? I do not consent. Uh, I will and, touch uh, no, you. 14 does not hit me. Okay, you're able to um, duck out of the way, and then she looks between all of you. And I need, let's see, if you are within... 
If you can see her and we're looking at her and we are within 60 feet, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Is that including uh, me that moved out of her line of sight? Um, are you... I did specifically uh, say Can you see her? So I'll leave that up to you, Jay. <clears throat> Definitely can not. you see her? All right. uh, I don't know. It's dark. Oh, <laughs> you know, it, it looks like I can't see her. Maris yeah, is good. I mean, Claire is good. See her through all Shake oh, off oh. the fright. Oh, I forgot to roll for her. Let's see what happens to Mr. Casimir That kitty is so cute. All right, so She's the uh, greatest. And then, uh, Claire, does that... Do we also get a plus four to that as you well? You also get plus four if you're within 10 Sweet. feet. Of okay, cool. So I'm at an you're 18 in my little circle. for that. Yeah. Casimir would have died had you not had he not been standing right next to you doing that thing too. So. My little circle of happiness. Yeah, indeed. All right. It looks like everyone is good. Was it that... That banshee ability that just like literally drops you to zero. Jaswaldo, you hear yeah. That's the one. You hear yeah. this uh, unholy wail echoing through the crypt. Um, the bats oh, twitch fine. about and kind of look around. A couple of them uh, come off of the ceiling and flutter up this tower. Kind of go alert the master. Let's see. With a movement. I'll get away from Shout Team Exclusive. And a bonus movement. I can get to here. Um, I don't know. Check your first lot of movement. Boy, that just got ominous. Yeah, freaked me out for a second. I'm going to double action move to there. Using so, your 90 feet? Yeah. Burp. Beep. All right, so go burp. ahead and move yourself, and it'll burp. be Claire. Burp. Burp, 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 burp. I will beep, 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 wing at her a couple times with my my sword. All right. Uh, burp. thirteen. Not. We'll hit. Oh, delightful! You know what? I'm a smite. <laughs> so this is the main sword damage here. Oh. So sixteen. Wow. God, damn. Um, plus five, so yeah, 21 um, for the one? sword damage, and then I'm going to smite. Smite. I'm going right. to throw a level two spell on there for, I think since she's undead, that'll be 48. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Hot shit. Okay. Takes some, just takes some sunglasses out and put... Yeah. So an additional Damn. 14 damage, so That's 35 big on my hit. first hit. Yep. Um, and then I'll uh, hit her again, hopefully. She's glorious. <laughs> uh, another 18 <laughs> oh my God. damage. Wow. And you know what? I'm going to throw another one on there, because why not? Paladin's I mean, going to paladin. Yeah. Yeah. Does she have any HP left? Um, she survived the first hit. Uh, another 15, so that was a total of... Um, 68. A lot. 68 Damn. damage. Claire, this this um, creature focuses on you as you come near it with this flaming sword, kind of <laughs> recoiling away from your very presence, and then you lay into it. Um, this is well more... Your two attacks are well more than its hit point max. How do you dispatch the spirit of Petrina Velikanova? I just sort of like X, so you know, like Her slash telecom. down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The light radiates out from the cuts, and she's like, <laughs> and you see this yeah. figure kind of bisect and start to dissipate. The rags that were its robe sort of float in the air, almost like the um, like um, the ashes of paper in a fire when they kick up for a bit and just float around the flame. So do the remnants of this banshee around Claire's sun sword and then start to whirl and kind of all get pulled back to the stone beer in the back. And you can see there was a frail skeleton laying there and these bits seem to reattach to the body and it, it shifts for just a second, almost as if the skeleton has been dislodged from some type of stasis. And she lies there now, dead I and unmoving. step aside from the door and kind of gesture with my shiny sword and say, all yours. 
Claire, you're awesome. Thanks. I, I'm good at some things. Not everything. He yeah. rushes in. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Did you guys it see was uh, tough to see, you know, at first, but now that the um, sun sword is illuminating this tomb and it's Casimir runs in and you're not focused on the horrible visage in front of you, um, you see him run in and scattered around um, this tomb. There is this, uh, there are thousands and thousands of coins surrounding this um, beer. And he runs forward and um, places his hand on her chest and you hear him <gasps> gasp as if it's caused him great pain. And then you see um, the bones start to shift where the joints have separated. You hear the bones click together as sinews begin to reform. As if watching you, so many times in Barovia, you have seen things decay and rot and become corrupted before your eyes. This plays in reverse as her corpse becomes less and less corpse-like till finally you see a beautiful dark-skinned elf sort of dusky gray skin and black midnight hair sit up the dust falls from an intricate robe she looks about you groggily at first but there is an intense intelligence behind those eyes. You look terrible, brother. Hello, everyone. Would someone please find my spell book? Uh, where is it? Start digging. Cool. <laughs> Do we think maybe the spellbook actually is with a certain uh, mage we know whose name rhymes with um, bigger? Thivor what? takes her literally and starts digging through the gold. It's gonna be like, uh, please, okay. uh, please, I'm, I'm please wouldn't no go miss. Is it? I can't. Okay, I'm looking still. Thivor, <laughs> Thivor, Thivor, it's okay. Why aren't the rest of you searching? Keep going. Not young man. Cy Cyborg. Just... Yeah. Cyborg. Sorry, Casimir, who does your sister think she is? I'll walk out. <laughs> um, um, she looks at you and says, it is imperative that I find it. Ooh, how about this? Um, Cyvor, are you digging through the, um, digging through all the coins, it sounds yeah. like? Yeah. Sure. Uh, make a, uh, a check for the search. You can use perception or investigation. I will always use perception as you are just sort of shoving your hands into this coin and sort of feeling around for something that is not a coin. Um, how's a, how's and a you find or, um, a, uh, how's that for something you? that is unmistakably wooden and it kind of grab it, shift and you pull out a book Please with carved be... wooden oh. covers on it. Give it to me. Why is it imperative that you have your spellbook? Please. And she, do you offer it to her? She ignores Claire. What's Casimir I, doing? I look, yeah, I look at her brother. He also, it was uh, rummaging through the coins. Hold on, Simon. Please. Uh, and she give it to her now. I know. Sure. Or what? And she grabs it from your hand if you hold it forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She takes it and holds it close to her chest. <sighs> I had forgotten, you see. I would have had to start over. Mm. Surely you understand, mage. <sighs> I understand we gratitude as well. Your, brother your first words should have been thank you. I have no patience for your lessons in etiquette. I'll be we need on your to get way. out of here. Go ahead. We've done our part. So you're not interested in my help? What help? What help might you be able to give? 
<laughs> Don't laugh, answer straight. And uh, she begins opening the book and paging through it quick, and he says, Whatever powers you have seen me use, I assure you she was far more powerful than I. Does she seek the destruction of Strahd? I mean, didn't you put her in a tomb? That's kind of... Well... It's kind of respectful. She's also labeled Sarah. as a bride. That was my point as well. Mm -hmm. It is not kind to speak of a host this way. No matter how awful they are. Just bad luck, I think. Now, yes, I have no love for the monster that locked me here for generations and sought to end my species line. So yes, I will help you get out of here. That's great. And when we're out, we'll come to an agreement, I'm sure. Well, we actually don't need your help getting out. We can take care of that ourselves. Please, give me a moment. Uh, I need to re-prepare these spells. Take a moment. What spell in particular are you re-preparing? All of them. I see. And will that take a short amount of time or a long amount of time? Give me an hour. Sure, an hour hour to learn them all. DM. With to that. remember them, you fool. You know how it works. I'm groggy. I've just woken up. Like you spend every morning, right, mage? You know how this works. I'm disappointed. Um, in your preparations, um, Katrina, um, do you have anything that is capable of carrying something very large? What do you mean? There's Tell me how large. Would... What What's the weight? Size? What do you need to get it through? Uh, um, a, I try to vaguely describe, or not vaguely, I try as best as I can to describe the size of the dragon skull, um, okay. and then describe the um, the portal that we can use to get out. Now tell me, tell me more about this. this. No, it'll have to wait. Give me an hour, I must prepare. I think I have something, yes. If you promise to protect me for the next hour, yes? We'll protect you. Swear it. Um, DM, how truthful is she being about helping us? Make an, you can make an insight check. Thank you, I will. Oh. Yeah. I found my hat in the ring there. Nope, I know nothing. If I've rolled a 19. She seems very intent on getting out of here. She does not hold you in particularly high esteem, any of you, you can tell, but um, she doesn't, um, uh, her, um, you know, intentions do not seem hostile towards you. I turn to her brother and I say, you should just take her. You should go to the brazier and leave now. She can prepare her spells outside of the castle. She can Safer also there. help us get the skull out, Jeswalda, hmm. which was the other reason we're here. Ah, yes. Are but in so order to do that, she would have to learn all of her spells. Which will only take an hour, which is no more than we typically rest. You Plus, need to look through the rest of this room anyway. Very yeah. well. Rest, Elf. I will rest as well. I think you will all come to be very sorry about this. And I turn around and start looking at some of these other tombs. I want to finish my list. Okay. Um, <laughs> is anyone staying near her tomb? Yes. Then I it sounds like a lime doing is. an arcane recovery, as same as her. I'm assuming she's doing that. Um. So you would know, as a maid, even though I, she kind of snipped at you about it. You would. You would know though that. Um, when you wake up in the morning as a wizard, you have to spend some time preparing your spells. She's just been resurrected from the dead and um, needs to practice right. the hand motions, look through her spell book, um, and re-prepare her okay. spells. It's not so much about a rest as it is, you know, re-familiarizing herself. So. Making herself a threat. Yes. As opposed very, to right very now. Much so. As opposed to right now when she's helpless. 
and um, you look at her book, um, Elimus, the inscriptions in it are, or you don't really get a sense of what the actual spells are, but just the mere pages and pages she has is impressive. As you see her flipping through, so. Yeah, with my earlier perception of 24, do I, sen- do I see anything else in the room that is uh, of interest outside of just coins? Um, no, but it is um, an immense amount of wealth. Thousands of gold pieces mixed with platinum, silver, yeah. Should we, I mean, do we need this? Should we take some? Why not? Is that okay? I have a feeling there'll be more interesting things than coins in here, don't you think? I mean, this pile of coins contained a powerful spell book. What do you think the next pile will contain? Well, I'm a definitely lot of powerful keep, undead, I'm checking maybe. out some of these specific. Oh, most assuredly. I, so, should we keep cataloging the, the, uh, the catacombs? We should keep cataloging the catacombs. <laughs> Hey, uh, catalog logging. Yes. Um, <laughs> if actually, how about I? I will sort of ostensibly as Claire stay with the wizards, and then ask Cyborg to sort of move through the rest of the room and then report back while Elena is taking notes. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, whoever, um, most of you can take a uh, um, short rest. Though, if a pair of you wants to go out and catalog the rest of the catacombs. Hey, you, will, you can forgo that rest. Akanda. Gotcha. Yeah. Why don't yeah. we go look at that Kazan tomb? Okay, can, can we look at Piddlewinks too? Well, I thought maybe you would want to see if there was another one of those giant walking statue things. Can I have another one of them? Gosh, that'd be so much cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Let's go look. Don't go digging around inside tombs without... Help? We are. We're not anywhere near you, Claire. Don't forget the ten oh, feet. Have you actually <laughs> left? Yeah. I didn't yes. know if he had gone. They ten, wander ten off. Ten feet. Yes. Yes. He's gonna get her killed. Yeah. Claire, is it okay that he's breaking that rule? So which one was Kazan's tomb? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Kazan, Kazan was just south of Piddlewick. Uh, it's number 15. Number 15. Yeah, number 15. Number 15. Oh, what do you think? I say let's do it. All right, gotcha. so is it locked? Yes, these are all um, stone slabs that you would have to. All right, if you want to uh, go through all the numbers to get this out of the way before we okay. open this. So number 22. Gotcha. All right. 22. <laughs> um, a gilded man. Oh, sorry. That's the inside. No one's gilded. Uh, <laughs> Guilty. Um, <laughs> go uh, away. <laughs> Sir Eric Fondernox. That's all it says. Fondernox. Um, who is going with you? Is someone going with you, Cyborg? I thought it was Maris. Yeah. Yeah. Right behind you, buddy. Gotcha. Yeah. I have to go to Tomb Eleven because that's where I want to. <laughs> oh well, I'm at. Hit up. Two, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Twenty three. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll meet you there. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I'm by myself. Thank you. Bye. Should probably stay as a pair, maybe, and then I'm go back coming. to the team. I'm coming. Yeah. No, I'm coming. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> Over to 23. You are staying in a pair? Is that what you say? Mm-hmm. Okay. You see the name. Um, uh, Maris Perithel. You see your own name upon the tomb. I'm sorry, what? What's your... I, mean, I mean, she did die. You see your own she name died. on the tomb. Maris, what's the your name? Cyvor, you see Maris? the same... Uh, you see the same name. We're at tomb eleven now. No, twenty-three. We're at twenty-three. Oh, I'm so you went. And oh, so DM. I so I'm I confused. see my name on twenty-three. You do not. You see Maris's name. What oh, I the see Maris's hell? name. Yep. Maris, what's your last name? Paradel. So like your, has your grandmother, been here, your mom? Like is it like a? No. No, I I. I okay. Well. You okay? It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna but move I'm on. Here. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to uh, now. We're gonna move on to Okay, so 
Moving over to 24. Uh, you know you have to say it. But I, I died. Yeah. <laughs> Dying. Right? But I'm but I'm here, but I yeah. died. So. No, it's okay. We're, so at 24, we're looking at this. <laughs> what else does it say? Does it just say my name? Nope. Say nope. my name. It just say says your name. Oh, just... Does it say like bright or like <laughs> white? I just look here. Super look. cool. <laughs> you walk. And this we're walking. Is, this is OMG. Say, like, bad bitch. Or... And we're walking. <laughs> and we're walking. Okay, there is no epithet. So wink. Maris. Wink. It Bottom say bitch. Wink. It doesn't yeah. say bad bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's just heartbreaking. I don't I even get a Does freaking epithet. Does anybody have a We can fix it. Yeah. We can make it <laughs> Fix it. Fix it. Esty. <laughs> so, oh. 24. Uh, 24. Gotcha. Uh, is... Uh, Ivan Ivliskovich, champion of winter dog racing. You know, I want to. We're gonna open all of these, right? No. Come on. I mean, it'll take us like two weeks. I feel like, I feel like everybody <laughs> gets one. 20, <laughs> Twenty-five <laughs> is Stefan Gregorovich, first counselor to King Barov von Sarovich. Ooh. Uh... There is. 26, Intri Seek Valu. He spurned wealth for the knowledge he could take to heaven. Crypt 27 is unlabeled. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> Number 28, Baskal Offenheis, Chef Deluxe. Deluxe. I'm going to name my first kid that. Cyber, you want to go in there, right? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. The <laughs> <laughs> weird flex, Athelflaed, but all right, nothing matters. It'll be great. <laughs> the crypt, the door leading to Crypt Twenty Nine is, you, as you approach it, it's cold. Um, also, um, there is a distinct green color to the slab. And it says, Baron Ice Glaze Druth. Ice Glaze. Right, Ice Glaze. Um, that seems. Just while they'll make a free history check, as these things are. All right. This is going to be interesting. A plus what? All right, um, you've heard of this guy when it comes back to it. Hey, known, um, you have heard of um, the ice, uh, the uh, Drufen defense. You read about it in your green book. No way. Mm -hmm. hey, anyway, is um, there is number 30 mm -hmm. being Prefect Cyril Romulich, High Priest of the Most Holy Order. Crypt 31, we knew him only by his wealth, is what it says. There is no name. I'm gonna call him Cash Money. Okay. 32 <laughs> is completely unlabeled. Oh, ominous. Okay. 33. Um... Uh, I'm going to come back to that one. 34 is King Dostron, the Hellborn. 35, Sir Yarnwald, the Trickster. The joke was on him. 36 is illegible. It seems that claw marks have scraped away whatever writing was originally here. Number 37, Gralmore Nimble Knobs. Wizard, Ordinaire. You're supposed to say nothing, <laughs> really. <laughs> I know, like, oh, I'm just God. supposed to buy it. <laughs> Nimble Knobs. <laughs> not, not, not Wizard, Extraordinaire, Wizard, Ordinaire. Yep. Okay. I like it. Maybe a okay, no. Nimble Knobs. Very mediocre. <laughs> Number 38 is. But those Gen knobs. 
Crowval Mad Dim Dog Grislike. Master Whoa. of the Hunt. Mad Dog! Mad Dog! I need that one again. <laughs> Mad Dog. General, General Crowval Mad Dog Grislike. Master of the Hunt. Mad Dog. Number 39 is Bocephalus the Wonder Horse. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Come on! And Maris doesn't get an epitaph? So I ever gets a little excited about that. He's just like, there's a wonder horse. Oh my God. Keep going, Cyborg. <clears throat> That's oh. <laughs> There's going to be like that one episode of Avatar The Last Airbender where they all got to pick their vacation and Cy we get to pick our own tunes and Cyborg is going to pick a wonder horse. <laughs> the library. <laughs> oh and last, God. Crypt 40 is Totsal Eris, last of the line. All right. Which one did you skip? Um, I skipped. 33. 34. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. Yeah. yeah, what's up with that one? Um, it is... Uh, it just says Sir Klutz. He fell upon his own sword. How is Klutz spelled? Cool. I, it's... Uh, K L O O T Z. The Klutz. I'm taking my Klutz. own. Uh... Klutz. I can't let it quite be there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Why so did you Klutz. skip it? <laughs> I was trying to come up with a different name that wasn't such a cringy joke. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, we live for that content. Listen. Yeah. We had yeah, a hello, wonder horse. Uh, hey guys. We had what a are you wonder horse. Oh, we had Before we choose, we take a break. I think it's time it's for so a rest as you guys uh, go. Uh, or a, a break. A ten minutes. Those of you who are not uh, looking around, get a short rest, and then hot we can... Shit. Sounds like... But sounds like Jess Waldo and um, Akanta are doing something in the meantime, though. Yeah. So well, you guys are only get to choose, a short rest. If we only get to choose one, I would like to append my choose. Append your choose? Well, we Men? can discuss how much time we want to spend opening and you know, investigating all of these and kind of uh, how to speed that along and stuff uh, in our little break. So the party is beneath Castle Ravenloft, tomb raiding, quite literally. And they have restore, helped Casimir um, restore to life his sister, the magically talented Patrina. Yeah, she's a that right quality pooper, she is. Yeah. Super rude. Super she is rude. Um, um, looking at spells uh, and such. Um, you guys are... So some, it sounded like we're wanting to just hang out and some maybe wanting to investigate tombs or are we just going to party investigate tombs and wait with her for a bit as she continues to prepare her spells. What is the plan? A few I'm moments of meta, I say we despite how we all might feel about one another, we should probably open them all as a group. Um, Agreed. Just in Agreed. case something oh, does so up. you're not going to beta Kantha into opening a tomb by herself? No, oh, I would really like to. But Rude. Let's meta, as I said, <laughs> metaing this. Up to you. Rude. He will, right, um, well, maybe that just that one. Okay, Akanta, here we go. <gasps> After you. No! <laughs> okay, so, so you want me to open this one? I don't want you to do anything. I think this one might be particularly interesting, though. He it hurts. says Kazan. He hurts Are you guys go. able to... Um, can you guys going to be able to pry open the tomb, I'm wondering? Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> you guys, go you guys had other people do it before. It's going stones. under the door? I'm going to go, go under the door. Go ahead. Little, t little tiny snake. Wow. I'm going okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to turn into a snake, and then I'm going to go under the door, and no. I'm going to go see what's in it. No. <sighs> Is the door flush? It was it's, nice to know you. It's this it's, is a solid tomb. This is not like there isn't like a nice little space under the. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't. The, maybe, I mean. But I, I would help you open it. No, don't. It would so take something like gaseous form or something to slip under the, um, to slip under the base. So. I can't turn into. I can't turn into gas. Well, um, let's push on it really hard. Who knows? <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so that's that one. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> is that athletics? Strength. Uh, is that the sound of athletics? <laughs> is it? I wouldn't know. Am I rolling okay, at no. <laughs> Am I good? 
<laughs> Should we both? Um, yes. Okay. Go. We're go. both gonna go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I open do I even need to do it? So, Akantha. How oh, do you have a plus four athletics? athletics? It was a strength check, but with a wow. 16 on the die, it doesn't matter because it is enough. And you see this little four? gnome just get her Druid little magic. fingers around this um, stone door and. So Blind is all set to oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Steps back. It's like, huh. <laughs> should, should I go in? What's in? What's in? What do and you I'm see? Gonna... I'm gonna use my uh, produce flame. What? <laughs> it, it, it took me a second. Okay, I had to hold the note. I had to find it. Do I'm I have use my produce flame over there right now? <laughs> Give me some light. You make a bit of a uh, flame appear, and a skeleton draped in rags lies atop a marble slab in the center of this crypt. The skull has black opals set in its eye sockets, and shards of amber where its teeth should be. Oof. Well, you know who that teeth. dude probably is. No. Well, it's on the tomb. Do oh, so this is his room. Okay. Um, does, do you think he has the armor? Can I have some more? Um, well, how did... Um... I'm gonna die, aren't I? Thank you, Giswaldo. Giswaldo sort of sticks his head around the corner and says this is a hunch it could go really good or it could go really bad <clears throat> Kazan do you say it loudly? You... yes alright as you do so there is a <laughs> flash of light above the corpse, blinding you all for a second. And sitting there above this skeleton is a beautiful staff looking to be carved from obsidian. It's very important that both Akantha and um, Jezwalo tell me exactly what you do at this very moment. I oh, stand God, at the entrance to the tomb, wide-eyed. Mm -hmm. Same, because I'm just like, oh. Do you do anything as the staff sits there, floating in the air for a moment? It gets yours, Akanta. Do I? Is it, is it for me? Do um, the tech traps. Time? I okay. pull out the um, I pull out the the wand of secrets and I use it to detect that you traps. do you boop activate it and um, it you uh, it does not point anywhere in particular or uh, actually it does it points it actually does point at the um, at the staff Akanta what do you do at this very moment it's very important you make a decision as to what your action I'll take a is. Step forward. Do you do anything else? Do you touch the staff or do you just look at it? She just has her hands clasped and she's just looking at it right now because she's waiting for Jeswaldo to tell her if she can have it or you, not. Okay, well, he's already... Have you said anything, Jeswaldo? No. <laughs> All right. Jeswaldo has not she's indicated not. whether or not it is trapped, but he has pointed his wand to it. Do you take it or do you just stand there? I just stand there. Final Can I answer. Have it? I mean, them. no one else is taking it. God. All right. Third and final. Do you take it or do you she wait? She takes it. She's just like. <laughs> All right. If you've killed me, just Voldo, I will find you. Oh. We don't have of snakes to. past. I will kill you. This is my favorite character ever. Antha, you have a to help blast you. of energy courses through your body. Oh my god, that's a lot of numbers. And you take sixty-five points. Oh my god. Of lightning damage. Holy shit! No save. No save. There's no saving throw. Oh my throw? god. 
Uh, you do need a constitution saving throw. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Constitution okay. Oh, throw. Jesus. Constitution saving throw. Oh, Jesus. Constitution different line. Snake. Have you got, oh. have you got inspiration? Come on. Inspiration. I got inspiration. Does anyone have if a you, D6? Is it a D6? Because you... Yes, yes, yes. Has anyone got a D20? <laughs> Can anyone gift her a D6? Roll oh, a D6. No, you, can't, you can't gift can a D6. Can D20s be used? No, Across games. Yes, you can gift her your d20 if you want. I'm gifting her my well, d20. But you have to declare the inspiration before well, the roll. Rig. Yeah, before the roll. Oh, we she were so it. fast. We were That's saying. how you died, remember? So I, do. I died. Let, 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 let her roll again. Let her roll again. Akanta, what, are, what is your max hit points? I'm curious. 66. 66. I have one hit point. Oh. oh would you like a berry? God. Okay, so we all are all right. DM, so we hear this thing crack off, right? Yeah, you hear an explosion. And you just hear her shriek and then start crying. All right. Oh my god. Dibor takes off. Like, Can those of us who are resting, like, I'm, check it out? Her hand will be shaking where she grabbed it and it just zapped and there's like smoke coming off of it. Peter? Hmm? Um, if, if I say went over to check it out, um, would that interrupt my rest? Um, not, not necessarily. No, okay. I feel just a minute or two points of damage. Let's see if she's okay. You have sixty-six. Yes, I'll make some berries. Total. You lucky I've puppy. I've got some berries for you. Wow. What is going what on here? What happened? I can't. Um, th what happened? There was a staff. She touched it, and uh, it has hurt her very badly. I think. But you told me to take it. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. I don't know that I actually said to take it. And he told me to, to, to open the door. What? It said Kazan. I, I gather her up in a hug. She'll hug you back. Yeah. Cyber is going to just punch Jiswaldo. Jiswaldo is going cast to die. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought There's... you were going to say Jiswaldo is going to die. <laughs> Jiswaldo immediately dies. <laughs> no. I'm going One to cast Cure Wounds for you, Akantha. Oh, God. Thank you. Ooh, that beats my 20. I say, with a 27, and say, Cyborg does seven bludgeon damage. You actually deal damage, or you can make it non-lethal if you it's wish. Not, oh, yeah, it's it's non-lethal. Like, he literally, like, she says, like, You pull the damage, so it hurts, <laughs> but it does not it. subtract your hit points. Cyborg I draw just, my sword. Docks him. And just, like, okay, 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 okay. You? Jiswaldo, put the blade away. He struck me. That and will ooh. not be suffered. You put Akanta in a dangerous situation. We should you not be going into her. these tombs in anything less than the full group of us. It is stupid and you know that. Watch yourself, boy. Don't call me boy. I'll call you whatever I want. As well do. You know, I never thought the worst monster here would wind up being you. Well, maybe you thought wrong. Touch me again and die. Sword. Slowly. Down. Come on, Cyborg. Put the sword away. Perfectly calm. No problems. Akantha, are you okay? She, she healed me a little bit, so I, I feel a little... She healed you a lot, wow. Yeah, yeah there's a <laughs> 28 <laughs> point kill. Beep, 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 beep. Damn, Maris. <laughs> Damn, girl. Oh, look at that, she's fine. Oh. She well, is fine. He could have fine. very easily not have been fine. My hand is still singed. I can think of other people for her that could be said. <laughs> Maris mean mugs just Waldo and walks away. <laughs> I almost died. Oh my Cyborg. god. <laughs> oh, it's so hard when you almost die. <laughs> Maris brings her in for a hug. In chorus. A little sip from the ewer. I oh know. My god. I know. Cyborg, um, could you bring Akantha over to where Alimus is resting? I'll be right behind you. Of course. He scoops up Akantha. Says, okay, we're gonna fly. And just... 
I'm about to stop. Jaswaldo, I know that you're angry. And you've got a whole lot of other emotional bullshit going on under that, that mask that since you're not willing to share and be straight with me, I can't understand. All right? I'm not a mind reader. I'm not the kind of person who can just insightfully get a glimpse into your personality, okay? I need straight communication. But if this is going to continue, if you're going to keep pushing people to do things that they shouldn't be doing, put she think about the fact that we are all in an incredibly dangerous situation. You might have an attitude, put it away while all of us are in danger, yourself included. So that we all get out of here alive. And if you want to hash things out when we're not in this godforsaken castle, fine. We can do it then. This is not the time or the place. He is inscrutable. Yes or no? Well, whatever you say, Claire. Yeah, see, when you say that now, it doesn't mean anything. Sounds about right. Steps past her and goes over to look at the staff. Hmm. I hope it blows I up in his face. Is there anything in here that could be used to touch the staff? Um, mm, I mean, there are, you know, mostly just bones of the uh, skeleton. All right, so I take yeah. off one of the hands of the skeleton and I sort of run it across the staff. Okay. Kind of makes that sort of... Uh, so you would expect a sort of clinking sound as the hollow bones sort of slide down this solid stone obsidian staff. Think fast. And I toss it to Claire. Do you toss the staff, the staff to me? Mm -hmm. I let it clatter. Click, 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 click. Clatters across. I thought fast. Not fast enough. And then you be. see a hand reach down and take it, pick it up. And you see the weak but sort of recovering figure of Petrina Velikovna looking at it. Remarkable. How dare. It's so hard to manufacture obsidian into a arcane focus such as this. Hmm. Mind if I use it for a bit? If you hand it off to our wizard leader. <laughs> just while he just starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it just walks out. I assure you, <laughs> it's likely more useful in the hands of this wizard. I mean, she almost she died and, and you down. just gave it away. <laughs> I didn't give it away. She picked it up. Uh, <clears throat> whatever. She kind of taps it on the ground again and looks at it. Hmm. Interesting. Kazan, eh? Familiar? I met him once. He used to come by the village peddling little things. Toys and such. You know, uh, he... Uh, uh, there was this one time when he would come on by. The little kids were, well, some of the boys were 
bullying me or something. The bigger girls, really. I was very small, you see, when I was young. He's easy to be pushed around. So, Kazan gave me these little paper birds that he had made. And, well, he told me to give, to take them. And, you know, don't resist. Just give them to the uh, bullies when they came to harass me. So I did. And, um, <laughs> so they took them and tossed them up into the air like a little kid would, and they flew. The kids chased them, merrily jumping up and down, running across the grass, and then <laughs> one by one they popped, and you could hear the kids screaming. Oh, just a little stink bomb. <laughs> they all smelled like skunks. Some of them were retching. They all ran back to their mothers and got scolded for chasing these animals. All got grounded that night. I got to sit by the fire. I got the good spot. I got the little log right by the fire as Kazan sat, read from his books. He even let me sit close to him, look o looking over and reading. I heard the stories of oh, what was his name? Mordecanan, yes. <clears throat> yeah. I wanted to be that. And he told me to be careful. Keep my head down. Don't mess with those bullies. Keep a few tricks up my sleeve just to distract them. Just keep their eyes elsewhere while you do what you need to do. Eventually, I might survive. <laughs> so I did. And, well, thanks to some luck, maybe I'm still alive. Kazan. And you, brother. And all of you, I do owe a great deal. Thank you. I didn't properly learn all of your names. You never asked. I know. I... I've... <laughs> you know what it's like, right? I can see it in your eyes. What, what, what's like? Going there. I... I do know. I, How I do How long? Know. Um, fortunately, not, not too long, but it felt like an eternity. 250 years. More than most of these around us will live. I spent shambling neck deep in stale water. I've for centuries, I didn't know what it was like to be crowded by the bodies of other souls in blackness and near suffocation. <clears throat> so, I apologize. I understand. Um, I'm I'm Maris. Maris, I'm Petrina. Good to meet you. And Good the rest Claire. of you, Claire. You have a strong heart, Claire. Don't, don't let it get beaten down. I'm doing my best. Elimus, and I'm looking at the staff. Envious of that should have been my prize. Oh well. He doesn't say it out loud. It's... He just looks. Okay. Just says his name. Close. <laughs> What about you, little one? You took quite a fall there. Are you okay? Doing a little bit better, Maris. Maris healed me, but my hand is all singed and it's got a really cool scar on it now. 
I can show my grandma. It makes you look very brave. She's got an ouchie. Grammy will kiss it better. My grandma will kiss it and it'll make it better. That's For my all girl. This, DM, may I make an insight check to see if she's being sincere? Sure. And you, elf. Half elf. I apologize. I only say it because your elven features are what you typically exude the most, and it's comforting to me and prudent of you. My name is Athelflaed. Athelflaed. Well met. Hmm. Um, let's see. Um, while perhaps she was flattering a bit, she seems interested in getting to know all of you. Katrina, I, um... <clears throat> I apologize if this may bring up bad memories for you, but is there anything that you can tell us about the castle, its denizens, that might be helpful for us as we continue forward exploring through here? We have, we intend to get you out. We have something else that we would like to grab on our way out with you, but we will need to come back and I see. it'll be dangerous. I understand. I am <laughs> only partially recovered, you see. Um, Strad has a bookkeeper of sorts who um, he trusts implicitly. It's strange, really. I mean, if, if you're looking for a particular item, you would probably know, but I also know that Strahd keeps a treasury. All of his plunder from all of his years conquering Barovia and other lands, all of it, immense wealth and incalculable magical power he keeps in his vault. If Strahd truly means to face you, he is a warrior, you know. I once saw him take take on a small group of knights. Well, in his courtly clothing. <laughs> but I'm told when he slew that arrogant dragon, he was dressed for a real threat. His weapons, his armor. He can call it in just a moment and it will wrap around him. He is a conqueror. <laughs> he keeps, he has grown bored of many consorts, but there are also many whom he has not decided should be locked beneath this castle yet. Be careful of them. Their alliance to him may be compulsory, but maybe they do not exactly love him, if that makes sense. Do I help with what I'm saying? Oh, the inf any information we can get about here is useful. Please you. tell me, what is it you need from this place? What are you hoping to get out of here? I think that maybe we should keep that information to ourselves. Well, at the very least, I can tell you since I specifically asked for your help with it. Um, the Dragon Skull is our first priority to get out of here. Interesting. 
Very interesting. You fool, Claire. Jaswaldo, I don't give a damn what you think right now. Um, you didn't ask, but now you know my name too. Any other questions? How important is this skull to your mission? For me personally, it is. I don't know how the others feel about it. How goes a lie? What? What was the question? I said, my, our goal was a line. I see. I was hoping to clear that was. If it's important to Claire, then it's important to me. Seconded. A good heart indeed. So, I think I may have an answer to this. Are you done in this place yet? We have what we came here for on our initial trek. There's other things to examine, though. There are things of interest. It just depends on how long we wish to linger. Group, I put it to you all. What do you think? You said it yourself, Claire. Any information would be good. Just because Strahd's treasures are contained in his place does not mean that there are other things down here that are perhaps distasteful to him or he's grown bored of and locked down below. Maybe something of use, but are you things have changed quite a bit in the centuries I've been locked down here. Are what does that staff do? Yes, what does the staff do? Right now, I think it will keep me safe. If you'll allow me to sit with it a bit, it, um, it is a fine wizard staff. That wasn't found by you, yet you claim it. Are you whining, mage? Always. The one who found it has no use for it. No, but one in the party and does. It seemed to have been discarded as far as I could tell. And I think I might require it to be able to help you. I'm feeling quite weak, you see. And it will most certainly help me survive. We you know. discuss the staff's future when we get out of here. Speak up a little louder, Claire. Yeah, you can quiet. We can discuss the staff's future when we get out of here. Thank you. Very good. I have a plan I need to think on a bit and prepare a couple more spells. I could very well get your skull out of here for you and make it much easier for you to escape. Those all sound like great things. So Indeed. Do let me rest have... a bit and think on it. Do we have Do... time to... Look around a bit. Of course. I'll be in my, uh, well, a few more minutes here won't do me much harm, right? And she begins to walk back to her tomb. Okay, so do we start at the top or uh, the bottom? Well, um... Do we throw Jezwaldo and we only open one? And shut the door. <laughs> Maris. Yes. Where do you want to look? I, I have to recall you saying something about a tomb with your name on it. Yeah. I so have. sorry, Elena. It's really hard to hear you. Oh, really, really quiet. <clears throat> sorry. I know it's part um, of your character, but I, I'm. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I'm trying to deal with noise in the room. Also, um, I. Uh, with it. Well, help if we all, if you put him on speakers and we all yelled at him together. <laughs> no, hey! um, tell, him that, tell him that he owes you for being quiet. You saved his life. Did I? 
Yeah, like, like our choking. third or fourth episode. Oh, you, you right. For the Heimlich. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, so, um, where do you, I assume you want to look at the one with your name on it. Absolutely. I mean... <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, What's in the there? party opening them will not be an issue. Just let me know which ones you want to open, and we'll open them and see what's inside. Maris um, Paradel. Mar- Maris Paradel? Uh, number 23. Number how, 23. How thick are the actual doors to these? Thick. Thick. How many C's? You know... A foot and a half to two feet no. stolid stone, stone slabs. They are they're th- okay. tombs. They're not just they're designed uh, little like stone things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, obviously I can't do nothing. All right. Twenty-three. Do you pull away the the door? The uh, stone slab. Maybe mm-hmm. someone be prepared to attack something that might be hostile to us. Should there be something inside? Um, I'm s- uh, I'm not standing near you. I thought I was. Okay, I was gonna say I'll have my bow ready. Now I will move and then have my bow ready. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Right. So here. you're opening it. Oh yeah. As you peel open the stone door, a wretched stench of decay wafts out from inside. Seriously? And Maris, as you look inside, you see yourself, but changed. You see that you have been clothed in a pretty um, basic shift placed upon a stone beer and your body has begun to rot away. You were not placed on it too carefully as your right leg has fallen slightly off of it and as the joints have begun to decay, you see your knee bending at an unnatural angle hanging off of the side of this stone and as the flesh is slowly drying and liquefying, not sure what state of rot to land in. There's a little bit of drip that comes from the tip of your heel. Your hair is wiry hay, and the eyes in your skull look like raisins. It is horrifying. Oh, my eyes! (laughs) Oh, Maris, you've uh, you've never looked better. Mm, You've never looked better. Go and we could be twins. Okay, Maris, you know what? She's covering her nose. She's walking in. All right. You walk in. Hardcore. Okay. Hardcore. Strong. No riches or tribute lie here. Only decay. I would very much like to investigate my body. Okay. <laughs> what a sentence. <laughs> Wouldn't we all, fellas? No, no? It's, okay. Come to that. It's a very healthy, natural thing. <laughs> it is. We don't yuck oh, anyone's absolutely. yums here. No. I think Even someone was. Me. Every man in chat says, Could you want some help with assistance with that? Oh, God. We can give you advantage. <laughs> Advantage. No. The bits just come. Maris you can roll an skilled. investigation check. Yeah, a couple yeah, kinds she of has bits, expertise. Right? Maris is a strong, independent woman. She knows her own body. Yeah, she She's knows her own body. Her she advantage. should have advantage on this roll. Yeah, if she, anyone she knows. knows her body, it's Maris. You have not seen your dead body before, however. Nor have you seen your body not attached to other parts of your body. So... I mean, this it's, is new, but like, how exciting! It is exciting, but it's not wow. a good advantage. <laughs> my God, wow! I'm so excited for that journey for you. I'm so excited for that journey for me. <laughs> oh my God, you almost had advantage. Oh my Are God. you going to touch the body as part of the oh, investigation? Yeah, of course I'm going to okay. touch my dead body. As That's soon as body. you do, uh, you um, feel a sort of shift in it as it kind of twitches oh. around when you touch it, and then you Yuck. see what time would do in the future appear in just a moment. You see the flesh begin to melt away faster. Um, what was what was skin 
becomes papery dust. The bones then dry out in front of your face, yellow and then white, and then start to crumble to ashy gray before they blow away in a slight puff of wind. And you are no more erased from existence. The corpse or Maris? <laughs> Maris corpse. The corpse that was rich. in front of you. Ah, she's not worried about that. Is there anything else I could possibly find in here? There is not. God. Oh my god. Strahd Strahd damage. Strahd damage. Strahd damage. Been... I, I like how the, the portent of like her own mortality, she's just like, eh. <laughs> what else is in here? Died. Where's I'm the loot? Died. I died, but yeah. also like everything is fucked here. So, but also like, like eh. where is my stuff? But also somebody took something from me and I'm getting it back. <laughs> We've just had All someone. Right, that's that tomb taken care of. We've just had okay. someone As you follow. Exit, you Guys. notice there is no longer a name. On We've the just had uh, on the door. Someone oh follow <laughs> called Peter wants Maris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that description, Peter, was profoundly Icky. Mm, so, yum, no, yum, so yum. Awesome. Thank you. Thank I'm you. done. All right. Peter wants Maris to die. That's what it should say. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Who's next? Literally. Oh, God. Get it? Like L I C H. Anyway, uh, what do you open next? <laughs> um, I think that it's probably worth investigating um, Irina Koyana. Hmm. All right. Number oh, Irina, that was the one that we. That was yeah. our escort. Wait, what? Yeah. How many so, of these people have we already met? Not uh, that many. You, you, haven't. you, you haven't met her. As you I pull didn't. open that door. Okay. Okay, we'll explain later. Oh, she might be in here. There's a swirling mist of fog that sort of pools away at your feet, and you see the tomb is completely empty. <laughs> yeah, no, it's empty. That's good, right? It's probably Was preparatory. Try? No, as in, she's not here. Now. She's not on this realm anymore. No. Um, my Oops. assumption is that, like I said, oh. that it was a preparatory move on Strahd's part. Did we send her somewhere too? Yeah. Have you not been listening so far? She, oh, she, she, this she sent herself? Uh, we yeah. let her take herself off the board and thereby lost a very valuable piece. Yes, you did. Mm, yes, I did. Okay, so awkward silences are still intact. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, I want to go next door to 19. I don't want to open it All right. You don't You're have opening to, it up? Brother. Oh, yeah. It says the keep builder. It, I have maps or something. This person was given a place of honor to be buried in, but as you look around, you see that... Um, it is simply a ragged skeleton atop a beer. There is nothing more of interest in here. Huh. Um, by the way, boom, boom, DM, um, <laughs> was, was that name that I asked you about earlier in the graveyard mm -hmm. at Markovia? It was. That's weird. I knew I remembered it. Yeah, Tasha Petrovna. She was the healer. Uh, Maris, did you want to look at that? That was of interest. I to definitely you. did want to look at that. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, number eleven. Yeah. How long do these take to open? Are they like quickly opened in thirty seconds or? Yeah, it's a quick action for your. We're we're pretty strong. I'm going to yeah. cast detect magic. Okay. Um, and I'm going to keep it running. And as you open this, there is a skeleton wearing tattered priestly vestments lying atop a marble slab in the center of the crypt here. The domed ceiling overhead is painted with a glorious sun mural. Draped around the neck of the skeleton here, there is a sun-shaped sun holy symbol. Not magical. There is a not slight... It's not um, the... It's not the... Necromantic energy emanating from it. That's magical there. I want it. But... <laughs> Wait, then go take it, Maris. Wait, so Elimus El can tell the, the magic coming off of it, right? Yeah. It's faint necromancy. Right. 
Wait, do we... Do we want necromancy? Not all necromancy Saibu. is necessarily evil. How does Maris heal you? Oh, yeah. Mm. Let's see how it works, yeah. It could be a Just Walter, why don't you go grab yeah. it? Fine. Yeah, you touch it. Walk in. It's your turn. I changed it. It's a <laughs> rat that it's that it's evocation. I pick it up. <laughs> Nothing. I walk out. You are such a punk. <laughs> what you want it? I want it, but I wanted you to get hurt for it. Well, okay, now that's just a bit much. Is it? Is it, my is hand. It? No, it's not. It's not too much. King, king, would you, king, king, would you like some berries, Akantha? Did you just drop it on the floor? It just did. Maris ugh, touches it with her foot. No. Would you like me to <laughs> Maris identify is very scared. it when I get a chance? No, I thought you just kind of nudge it out of the way and it doesn't really do anything. Maris, Maris would you like me to identify it when I get a chance? I, wouldn't no, I would put love it on. that. I love Maris, that. As soon Who's as just Waldo it? wants Claire? Maris, I... as soon as you touch it. What? <laughs> Time of course I touched freezes it. for you fuck? for a moment. <gasps> as you hear a ghostly voice in the back of your mind. There's a grave to the west with roses that never die in a place built by healers in a village called uh, Kresk. When all turns to darkness, touch this holy symbol to the grave to summon the light and find a treasure long lost. Hell yeah. Hey, we know where that grave is. <laughs> yeah, we do. We've seen it before. <laughs> what, what I love is that like all of that happened and we just saw Maris go, hell yeah. yeah but... <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got for context. It was just like. She must really like that necklace. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. I mean, Good thing Jeswaldo picked it up, right? <laughs> sure. Thanks, Jesse. Is, is that the grave that we found the amulet? What did no, you call me? We no. found the amulet at the Jessie. crossroads graveyard. <laughs> right, yeah. Um back near Sir Pool. Um this graveyard Just is all the way out of the crest. Right, okay. <laughs> too far, okay. That's too much. I didn't sorry, I didn't hear <laughs> what you were saying. Um oh, my don't sister mind them. used to call me that. <laughs> What did she call you? Acantha. Jesse. You wanted to you wanted to <laughs> check Oh, that's so creepy, you two. Um you wanna check out a, a grave, right? A <laughs> which the Piddledy Tinks or Tiddledy Bonks? Which Nimble knobs. <laughs> no. Nim <laughs> Nimble uh, knobs. Well, I, I wanted I wanted to see see Piddlewigs, but Acantha, I will open the door for you. Yeah, you no, we can. Okay, that, that, that's number nine. Okay. You don't have to touch anything. Oh, All right. Don't, don't, don't get hurt for me. Opening number nine. There is a small skeleton wearing a fool's costume, lying okay. atop a stumpy marble slab in the center of the crypt. I've still got detect magic running, by the way. Oh, that's... Um... It's kind of sad. Okay. Detect magic, because you have that push it aside. There is a um, small box kind of tucked in some other junk. And there is a magic... There's magic animating from there. It is illusion. Hmm. Point um, out that there's a box over there that's magical. Going through it, you find a deck of cards. No, it's not. That's magical. Right, okay. It's an illusion. Crap, crap. I don't think that the... That's meta. I don't know that in character. I mean... <clears throat> what is it, Cypher? Or, I'm Cypher. What is it, Elimus? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Wait, I'm me. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm holding it, yeah? I'm sure oh, you'll identify shit. this at some point, yes. so... Shit, shit, shit. Um, unless you... It's not a deck of many things, is it? Draw a random card. Holy shit. Oh, oh god. That would be illusion, though. Now I'm metting. Now I'm doing it! Shit! Right? You're you! Be me! <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, 
Oh god. Whatever it is, it should belong to a Kanta. She was robbed of her staff. It's the least you can do. Before we start handing out any magical items, they need to be identified. In case they kill someone. We've you seem heard. to be doing just fine. Yes, but I've identified them. The ones I carry. Well, the Iris seem to be happy with what she got. What would why be don't we? I do not like you being the... You don't like anyone for all of these things. Right now, well, just why don't we ask... Al Alimus? If you why want to ask Akantha. Yes. I agree with Cyborg. Akantha? What, what would you like Alimus to do with y your... Please make sure it won't kill me or anybody else. You've heard rumors of magical cards, have you not? Like a vaguely, vaguely is enough. What if these are those vaguely magical items? How powerful is the yeah. magic you're sensing? Hmm? How powerful is it, DM? Uh, I don't think you know that. I don't know, to be honest. Can you can't yeah. like, concentrate and like sense how powerful it is. I don't. So know I can sense the presence, oh, okay. presence and school of magic. That's DM. it. DM. So if you want to look more into this later, if you guys are still yeah. going to be opening <clears throat> tombs, you can identify it unless you want to just take a chance. It's up to you guys. It's probably <laughs> worth holding on to and examining later when we are not in a catapult. Gotcha. Ooh. If anyone would like to hold these items, be my guest. Well, don't we have a, a thing to hold things? Have I led I any mean, of you astray I've, hold so it. far? I've been I'll holding on to a lot of the random shit that we find, but um. Oh, wait, who has this, this short the... sword that you found? I can't believe it was uh, uh, Ethel Flad. Uh, okay. Ethel Flad. Yeah. Ethel Flad. No, Ethel Flad. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Akantha. Yes. Since this is the room that you picked, you can hold on to the cards. Just don't draw them. Don't do anything with them until we figure out what they do. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, oh, hold on to your stuff, and then we'll have Alimus identify it all. Identify okay. party. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. Okay, I'll hold them and I don't want to use them. It'll be identify. <laughs> oh my Hell god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Beep, beep, All right, beep, beep, beep. Wrong answer. Beep, beep, you beep, lose. Beep. I'm gonna take the cards and I'll put them in my pack. And that's when Akantha just takes the card and just 52 pick up and just no. Yeah, it's exactly. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <laughs> End of the world. Uh, it's Deep. so the uh the one next to this one uh. It was uh, Sir Lee the Crusher says he loves jewelry. Yeah. Um, there's uh, Lady Isold is in number three. I recall someone expressing interest in Saint Markovia. Me. Oh, all right. Uh, that's number six. Okay, moving up to number six. Um. Would anyone like to help me open number six? I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. It's no problem. You guys can do so. In here, the crypt smells of roses, and hmm. the remains atop the marble slab have completely disintegrated, except for a single thigh bone. There is evocation magic emanating from the thigh bone. So I shouldn't eat it. Yum yum. Meta moment. I definitely was gonna pick it up and give it to you, <laughs> but now I won't. I mean, hey, like, shoot your shot. <laughs> uh, we should hey. hold on to that. I'll. I can put it hey. in my pack if anyone has any objection. Or Ethelflad, if you want to hold on to it. Yeah, I would like to keep track of that. That's you totally grab the thigh bone? I will, I will very gently and respectfully lift the thigh bone. I'm going to back up. Just in case. As you do, a ghostly form appears above the dust. So faint you can barely discern it. You oh. discern more than just a bit of a face. Almost like the light coming sideways through the curtains. And you kind of dust them. It's this very diaphanous, barely appearing figure. You're waiting for the whammy. And you hear... The vampire must be destroyed. Use me as your weapon. And the dust dissipates. What? Did was that just for me? 
Did, was she the only one? Was... Everyone heard that one. Okay, mm. okay, so that was... Well, that sounds awesome. Well, okay. All right, what's next? What? So was, uh... that was the last on the list of, like, the, the, the ones that I made note of from what people were saying of, like... The wizard's tomb. Where was that? Which one was that one? Uh, so, was are two. we talking about the uh, ordinaire or uh... there was two? Wasn't there? There was something not ordinaire. And there was a bumble knock. There was Kazan's, and then there was the there's wizard Kazans, ordinaire. And then there's uh, uh, nimble knobs. Nimble knobs and the uh, extraordinaire one. Yeah. Did we check out the jeweler? I think we should. I want to. Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple of them that seem like they would have um, just some good old fashioned treasure. Well, you like also know that the Petrina's crypt green. had absurd amounts of gold in it. Gold and right. coin in it. Right. Had no other magical during, items in it, was there? During my rest, what would have been a reasonable amount for me to just, like, casually shove into the pack? La la la. la. Um, maybe... And multiply that by, like, four. Maybe 50 platinum and 50 gold. I was in there for a while, so I'm assuming I could have done that. Yeah, mm. I mean, I'll, I'll give you guys the number, um, essentially. Um, cool. Petrina does not care. Um, mm. It's more than happy to give you the the uh, money. Exchange is... for the with the staff of ultimate destroying. Oh, my power. Uh, discuss the staff um, later. Sorry, um, I'm having trouble finding her i i also wanted to open the one that was green that was cold yes number 29 particularly important powder yeah. ice glaze um if you guys want to you know scrounge it all up it's about 250 platinum a thousand and one hundred gold and uh, about I eight thousand silver yeah, yeah so added to party funds, yeah. One more, one more time for me. Please. Nothing to buy. Gold Rovia. Oh, hey. yeah. all the riches, and you're yeah, in right. Barovia. Well, let's, let's go. Get out of here. Um, can, one more time for me, Peter, please. Sorry, what? Oh uh, well, paste it. Or no, uh, sorry, eight thousand silver, one thousand one hundred gold, two hundred fifty platinum. As you approach. The one with the greenish looking door. The one that is cold. Athelflaed, the sword, you feel it communicate with you. You feel a sense of sadness and loss, and but paired with almost like sort of a loving feeling. Um, I don't know if Athelflaed has um, been with another person or had a any kind of partner over the years, but if she hasn't it's how she imagined that feeling must be to be separated from a loved one like that, from a partner. Oh, the owner. <laughs> um. Are are we sure we want to open this one? Why not? Which one is this? Just the well, green door. Turn to pick. So yes. Yeah. I do. Okay. I this think I recognize this name. And as Jaswaldo answers to, as you look at, you look at your party and you get little pings of emotion coming from the sword. Um, as, uh, you know, what you would expect, S similar things to how you feel about your own friends. But oddly enough, when you look to Jaswaldo himself, it gives you a ping of hope. When he says he wants to open Why was this door cold? As so you go up to it, it is anything? indeed cold just approaching it. It feels like there's something frigid on the other no side. No magic effect on it or. Nope. Um, uh, I will gonna, open the door if I uh, can. Uh, Athelflaed wants to try to stop him. What are you like, doing? Well, now I'm crying. Like. I actually have little tears coming bad? down. Oh, Are gone you off, okay? Don't say uh, nothing. No one can hear you. Hang on. Uh-oh. Back again. It's fine. Okay. I was like, no, I'm really crying. Uh, there's... I have no idea what's going on. Uh, can you guys hear... 
Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? The one time I tried it, like, dip my toes into RP. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, no. just pause. Just, just hold. Yeah. Hold. It's okay. Hold we'll it. get oh, back to it. We'll circle back around. Oh, now we okay. Can hear we're again. good back. Well, okay. Right. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. I've got no idea. I could, st I could hear myself. I was like, every time I spoke, yeah. you guys weren't. You were all moving. But so where we were um who did it ethelflaed was beginning Hi. to tear up as she's looking around the party as you approach this very cold door yes and i'm going to ethelflaed will like actually put a, a hand on jeswaldo's arm and like i i don't know what's going on but this door is making my sword sad Wink. But, but, it's not sad. It's more than sad. I don't. I genuinely don't know what I'm feeling at this point. But this is very intense, and this feels wrong. Actually, the only thing that feels right right now is you. <laughs> but well, that's just but, funny. But future you, potential you. Right. But everything it, else is awful, and like I'm still like streaming. It pings this emotion to you again, which feels like it's crying with you in a bit. But it also it it wants you to go forward. It feels a desire for this tomb to be opened. Okay. May I open the tomb, Hello, lad? I recognize the name. It is. Uh... Well, a famous swordsman, I think. I read some of his insights in a book once. Was it green? Yes, it was, as a matter of fact. It was the green book. And look, wow. the door is green. I, I I mean... That's a what? I... If you want to open the door at this point, <laughs> open it, but Do something it. feels strange. He how cold is the door? Painful? Almost? Do you want a hug? No. I will open the door. Okay. The almost. I have a hug is, all over my computer. Who is helping you open the... Uh, I'm not uh, helping him do shit. I don't like it. Pull open, <laughs> pull open I the tomb. That's right, Akanda. I will attempt to open it to myself. Actually. Sivor will put his shoulder into the door, but like, as he puts his shoulder in the door, he looks at Giswaldo like, Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'll like stand there and not be like um, not running away, not moving away, but not really sure that that Should I we should help. Go on three, or do you just want to give me a count? On three. Hmm. One. Two. Three. It's like the most contentious countdown I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to so roll anything, Peter? Right. Nope. You both. Can, uh, if you both are doing it, you can just open it up. And inside here, 
Take six. Opening the door five. causes this blast of cold air to emerge like the coldest hell you can imagine. Every surface of this crypt is covered with thick brownish mold. I need the two of you to make a constitution saving. Oh no, what, not what this. What number are we on? Not this again. Oh my God. 29. We're on number 29. Yeah. Myself I've, I've been there, done that. <laughs> constitution not saving throw. Yeah, that, uh, I put myself uh, within do, 10 feet of the door so you get- Do I need to, do I need to roll too since I'm hanging out with them? Ooh, I have a 10. Okay. I have an eight. Wait, with, DM, DM, oh, should I sorry, roll two? Sorry, 12 with Nope, four. it's just the two opening the door. All right, so I've got um, a 12 the, with uh, Claire's help. Gotcha. Um, you, Cyborg, you take, um, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, you take 10 points of cold damage. Does Waldo, you take 21. Is this something I can... It is not an attack. Think for? Gotcha. What do you want? It is indeed a cold Whoa. save. That is... Cold. <clears throat> it's like that stuff under the winery. Is it the stuff under the winery? That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Is there brown mold and in it this is room? Yes. I believe I described that, yes. Yeah. And as it continues to, if you do not take a step back, you're going to make another con save. Oh, I think it's very back. moment. Okay. Why do you, what do we see? Um, the brown mold is covering almost every inch, every surface of this crypt in this thick brownish mold. Well. Fortunately, we know the cure for that. What's the cure for that? Oh, we're going to burn things again, aren't we? Actually, uh, no. no. Funnily enough. Burning this one makes it worse, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. miss. Oh, what was it again? It was cold damage. It was, no, it wasn't cold damage. It was cold damage, yeah. It was cold damage. Uh, do I what? feel anything magically yes. coming from inside there? Um. Yes. The the mold that was there that's cold damage, isn't it? If I'm right. Mm -hmm. And then your um, by now your detect magic wears off. Okay. Did I get what so school you did, it was? Yes. Uh. Well. So it would be um, evocation. I I walk up and look in. Cold Help. damage, buddy. <laughs> you walk up. I've got resistance to the door of the tomb. To cold damage, so All right, just... yeah. Make a Constitution save then, and then make your perception 12. check. All right, you take perception. sixteen as your save. Oh, sixteen's my save. Sorry. So quarter of nineteen. So take f four. I guess okay. how that would work. So yeah. I have a look. I, I grab. Uh, um, where's it? What the object? This magical. Um, it is. It seems to be buried beneath the mold. Everything in here is covered in mold, in the brown mold. I step out, and then I start blasting it with cold damage. With chill frost, fr rare frost, whatever it's called. Rare Frost. Okay. Um, so you start blasting away, blasting away, and you see um, as the cold, the brown mold sort of shatters, shatters over and over again. Um, it, it deactivates the mold, but everything is covered in this sort of crust um, that has ceased to be painfully cold. Um, there is obviously something atop the stone beer. Perhaps in the corners there might be stuff laying about, but to you yeah. it looked maybe on the top of the beer is where that magic was coming from. Okay. I, uh, I will sure, uh, step in if I may. Make sure there's no cold sort of stuff that's going to hurt me around it, and I'll just if there is I'll just blast it away until I, you know tap 
carefully so not to damage anything that's behind it. And then I'll uh, grab the magical item. Attempt to grab the magical item. Well, if I want to see it first. Okay. Under the bones, you scrape away. And Teresa, you feel this sort of excitement. This almost a giddy-like sensation coming from this sword. And as you scrape away the encrusted mold and push away the bones of this deceased swordsman you see laying there a perfect scabbard blade blade Ooh, what, what kind sort of blade, blade is it what is it what is it it is a beautiful rapier in fact Ooh. a rapier oh Place Perfect. my hand on top of it to see if anything <laughs> triggers. No, not at the not at the moment, but it is certainly magical. If see, I may, Lymus. Seeing stuff happen, obviously when you pick items up, I pick it up and expect to see a ghost of something. You pick it up, and the bones simply topple over off of the beer. Elimus. Crumbling to dust. Yes. May I have it, please? You not want to know what it is first? I don't want you to know what it is. I'm tired of you doling out your knowledge bits and pieces. I will take this and suffer the consequences myself. I want nothing from you. If you're taking that one, then I'll take Esmeralda's sword back from you. Fine. Tradies! And I reach out and I grab the sword from Elimus. He okay. doesn't stop you. Just walks out. I assume you give me the other one. I don't. I will stand in your way then. Let's wait and see what this does. Fine. And then you return the sword. Fair enough. What does it do? <laughs> it's, like, well, it's, a, it's a rapier. You, you stick him with the pointy end, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stick him with the pointy end. I will examine this sword. It's very, very fine craftsmanship. But beyond that, it will take some time to tell. I find. I think I want to uh, check out tomb number 26. Uh, I'm going to put it alongside the... Does it have a scabbard? Hope it does. Um, yeah. All right, so I will put it alongside the other. Okay, so uh, tomb 26, I think, had something interesting written on it. It said so they spurned uh, riches for knowledge. That, that seemed kind of interesting. Which one is this? Number 26. Mm-hmm. Shove that door aside. All right. So in here, 26, there's a skeleton draped in rags. Most of the bones appear dusty and neglected, but the skull is well polished. Hmm. Uh, I walk up and... Uh, I touched the skull. Okay. You... As you touch it, you sense it kind of animate a bit. The teeth move a bit. And if it could, it almost forces itself to turn towards you. And then cocks its head as if expectantly. Yes? I think it wants me to ask a question. Um, I'm a divine sense here. I'm curious if this is actually undead or some sort, some form of like okay. uh, spellcraft. But... You do not sense undead from this. Okay. Um, well, it 
it. Go for it. Who is the spirit who speaks to me? In three, seek follow. He said he he seek Malo? The name. It was the name on the crypt, so. Same guy. Oh. Um Ask him about his knowledge. Is it, uh, about what? Oh oh about oh his knowledge. Um, what knowledge do you have? I know much and lived here for decades. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, should we ask about the vault or how to beat Strahd? I think we already know that, but, uh, um. What mm. information would be useful for oh. enemies of Strahd? Yeah, yeah. Um. What information should the enemies of Strahd seek? Um, See those wheels turning. Yeah. yeah. Just ask super vague questions, too. So. <laughs> yeah. Um... What should ask him about like uh, ask him about the seek. castle, like where things are. And if he lived here, he would know where they are. Fool me yeah. once, I get bone. Um, Fool me twice. <laughs> um. <laughs> Chat wants you to eat it, Cyborg. To subvert, <laughs> to subvert his defenses. Sorry, what was the first bit of that? To subvert his defenses. Oh, okay. How do we know we can trust this thing? We don't. We take everything we hear with a grain of salt. Yeah. Maybe you should ask something that you might know the answer to. Hmm. Ask him what's wrong with Joswanda. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfectly fine. Clearly. Era shakes her head behind like he's not good. You all have gone crazy. You're the only one who changed. There's there's something wrong with Jeswaldo. Oh, for goodness sake. I do not know him. I do not know. There is. Can confirm. Can anyone ask you questions? Where is oh oh what lies beyond the 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 blue light curtain in this catacombs? Strahd's mother and father. And then the skull crumples to dust. Oh no. It was a oh, speak yes. there. Eat the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, um, what? I, I will say to Athelfred. Gross, my hands. You get a sense of fear and worry <laughs> as Jeswaldo has taken this rapier from the sword. Um, does not like this arrangement at the moment. Hmm, something tells me that Short Sword knows that rapier, he ain't happy. Oh, they're friends. You shush. Does anyone else have any small tombs that they want to look at? The wizard ones. I wanted to see the jeweler. Okay, wizard and jeweler. All right, tell me the numbers quick. We can go through this quickly. Uh, so we're not talking nimble knobs, right? Yeah, nimble knobs and there's the other one, wizard. Okay, nimble knobs was 37. And then, uh, Sir, L well, so there's the, so there's Sir Lee the Crusher who loved his jewelry, and then there's also the one who was just like 
Number 10. Oh, is okay. the one I want. Sure, leave the crusher then. Okay, so uh, number 37 is. All right. Wizard. As you open that one, you see another um, a corpse of a man with a long white beard, skin clinging tightly to his skull and bones, wearing dusty red robes. Clutched to his chest is a wooden staff that has a brass knob at one end and a marble knob at the other. Was this nibble knob? It is. Yes. yes? Okay. Wizard Ordinaire. Um, I will burn another spell. Oh. Uh, to tap magic. Okay. Um, you do not detect magic from the staff. Oh, really? What do I detect magic on? You do not at the moment. Is it on the knobs? There is just this. You also see there is a small indentation on either side of the stone slab. Magic knobs. Magic. Ooh, nimble knobs. Uh, check if Lieutenant it Dan, you got magic knobs. Uh, sure. Oh, God. You do not one. see any traps. I will check out the indentations then. I will touch things. All right. Um, they're just, it's pretty simple. It's just, uh, they look to be similar shape to the staff's ends itself. So. I will put the staff's ends in them. All right. Which end? Um, do I know which end would go into which or? Well, they look identical. There's a marble end and a brass end. And anything indicating which they would go into on the actual tomb. Nope, part. they are identical. I'll put a brass end in. All right. Um, you have this, you do, and you said that <laughs> this jolt of lightning um, arcs up from the staff. And you take... Lots of ouchies. Oops, 110, well, aren't they, guys? <laughs> so many ouchies! <laughs> bye! Oh my god, bye! We oh, die. not that much. 12 and points of lightning damage. Is there a death save involved God. there? God. Yeah. Any, no saves, no? <laughs> I was no say, saves. How, how nonchalant. You take <laughs> all the damage. 10 damage. Yeah. See you later. Bye, guys. I've gone into this life and the next one. Yeah. Um, does anything happen? or? He's killed your nope. next. Nope, you just yeah. get shocked. I will try the other end then. Trying the marble end yeah. on the same one? All right. So you touch the marble end and the sarcophagus sort of bisects itself and pivots open. And there are three spell scrolls in a case, scroll case inside. Yay! Cool. So nothing else magical in there, just three? Right. Okay, I will pick them up. And... Very good. Do you want to tell me what they are now so I know? Yep. Um, down. Cone of Cold, Fireball, Lightning Bolt. Wow. All right. Anything else, guys? Still Tomb Raiding, or are we... Oh, yeah. ...to go to number 10. The guy oh, who liked his the jewelry. Way back up. Sir Lee the Crusher... Loved his jewelry. He loved his jewelry. Loved his jewelry. Um, there are three in here. A beautifully decorated skeleton. There are three necklaces, each worth 750 gold pieces. On this Wait, one. Each is worth 750 gold? Uh-huh. Do -do -do. Hell yeah. I'm putting those in the um, party collective. All right. Mm. So it's kind of cold, fireball, and what, sorry? Lightning bolt. Mm hmm I will say, Teresa, the longer that Chiswaldo has this rapier, the more insistent your short sword is, becoming that this is a worrisome thing. The hope you're feeling drains. So should we um, 
Let's see here. There's the the last of his line. Oh, the skull did tell me that um, the the blue area beyond is where Strahd's parents are. So, you know, that did could be. We... Oh, sorry. we also we also didn't check. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Maris. What did you no, say? No, no, no. You weren't done. Um, and then I, uh, Claire, you talked about wanting to visit the Sergei's tomb, but we'd have to figure out a way to get the bars down. It's true. Um, we go to sixteen. Oh, uh, 16. Ooh, I just have follows. Hmm. She had followers. She had lots of followers. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, lots of follows. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. She had so many follows. Oh, my God. Speaking of which, we're trying to get right. 400. Right, we're trying to get to 400 <laughs> followers on Twitter. Shameless plug. Maybe that's why I brought it up. No, really. I you open 16, you will find there is a body... Oh, it seems to have um, other uh, bodies surrounding it. So there is the a finely dressed woman lying on the bier and others sort of in positions of supplication, all skeletons, men and women all offering gifts to her corpse, but they are all dead. Mm. But are the gifts nice? Like, <laughs> but what about pretty the gifts, though? They're pretty mundane. Like soaps and things? Mm -hmm. Frankincense, Scented myrrh. candles. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bath and Body Works. This looks Something weird like AF. Ironic pillows. Yeah. Can I investigate? Yeah, uh, I, you, so <laughs> part of the reason I described it so quickly is as you guys rifle through, there's, there's nothing in yeah. there. There's nothing of value here. Great. Ooh, ooh. What about, <laughs> which one was that one? That was 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Does anyone else have another one they want to check out? Sergey. I want to check out the Time Traveler in 13. Not gonna be a TARDIS. You don't know that. Could all be wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Timey wimey. All right. <laughs> this is interesting. A uh, skeleton draped in rags lies here. Amid the bones is a stoppered drinking horn, a fat pouch, and a weird looking scepter made of metal and wood. Above the bones hanging from the dome ceiling by wires is a wooden flying contraption that looks like a set of folding dragon wings fitted with leather straps, metal buckles, and taut leather wing flaps. You made that! It that looks is, so good! That is so cool! Could you repeat the objects that are in there? Yep, there is a um, stoppered drinking horn, and if you a imagine. weird looking scepter. Find me up. With the. Uh, made of metal and wood. And um, yeah, there's also a pouch that contains some metal marbles. And a bit magical, DM. Nope. All right, uh, I will uh, I, I will go to pick up those things. So the stopper drinking horn, there's a pouch of metal marbles. And then what was the other one? Um, it's a strange staff, um, oh, sort staff. of a wooden handle and a long metal cylinder. Okay. I mean, it's interesting stuff. I'll just put it in the party. Yeah, inventory. no, but I'll just, I'll, yeah, but I'll, I'll carry do you it. Want, do, you, do you want to carry all this stuff in here? Then, yeah. Yeah, Drinking like, horn and then metal okay. yeah, marbles. Also, That's check out these wings. Here. Do they think? And then a glider. Yeah. You think they work? Who knows? Does it, does it matter? You have wings. I want to just sit there. Okay, fine. I mean, they're cool. How about we try them out when we get out of the castle? Yeah, okay, cool. I'll, you, um, you got all that stuff? Yeah. Just... <laughs> Great. <laughs> you can, like, strap it to your back or something. Yeah, right. Um, I can't, I think I found your wings. Hmm. Wait, you, you found me some wings? I think so. Oh, cool. I'll, I'll come over and be like, it's, 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 okay. it's okay. not going to attack um, me, is it? DM, I want to walk over towards Sergei's tomb and just take a closer peek inside. Okay. Um, you do notice that there are these beautiful marble statues flanking either side. Uh, um, they're angels, actually. There is a beautiful... Um, uh, well, just very handsome statue of a man standing, and then on either side is an angel. 
Uh, what's what are passive perceptions, by the way, is that, of everyone? Mine is a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Ten. Gotcha. Cyber, please. Oh, seventeen. <laughs> Fourteen. Gotcha. No one's higher than seventeen. Cool. Anyway, so you're looking through there. What? Uh, that's all you see, and there are the this iron portcullis or this steel portcullis in front. Um. Alimus, um, could you maybe search for an opening device of some sort? Oh, is it actually down? Isn't it? The portcullis. No, it's raised. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh I, sorry. It's but... raised as in, I was thinking it coming from the ground. No, it is down. Yeah, it is okay. sealing you off. Okay. We are barred. Like mm -hmm. Barred. Great. Only a 15. Um, there is no mechanism for them or anything that you see. I mean, I could just poop in there, but that sounds like a horrible idea. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Especially if we have enemies within and without. Yeah. I would ask Jaswaldo to come over here with his magic wand, but apparently well, he's not in a cooperative mood. Are they are they metal bars? Yeah. Can we uh, can we heat metal and then bend them? Possibly. I could also just try to swing at them. I'll definitely piss off the bats, though. Are they? Well, are the gates? We've had a banshee before. <laughs> like, oh yeah, the gates magical. Is there anything radiating magical within thirty feet of me? Within thirty feet of you, it just hits um, the uh, coffin. It barely doesn't quite make it inside the coffin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it might. So in thirty feet, it's gonna end at the coffin. Depends if you go on my edge. <laughs> um, there is... These seem to be um, very heavily reinforced. And uh, possibly with magic, you'd think it would resist. Yeah. <laughs> at least resist you um, Amy. hacking at them. Strahd hated his brother. It doesn't surprise me that he wants to keep him in. Well, that is kind of odd. It says something about the man, although I'm not exactly sure what that he built this magnificent tomb for. His it is beautiful, brother, and it seems to really venerate whoever lays here. Well, I mean, even if he hated him, it's still his brother. Nah, he like hated, hated him. I got nothing from my memory of the journal of his that suggested that Strahd bore any love for Sergei. DM, what are the angels doing? Do they like have are... their, their hands over their eyes? <laughs> yeah, nope. right. They are in um, repose with clasped hands. So. And, oh each, my God. and each of them are, are doing that? Mm -hmm. And then the one in the middle is a Handsome statue. Man. A mm -hmm. of a handsome... Does that look like that one time that we saw like Sergei's ghost when Tatiana slash Irina went into the pond? It does. Looks exactly yeah. like okay. him now that, that I think of that's it. That's him. Okay. Well, I guess I might as well ask and um, then prepare myself to get a note. Jaswaldo! There's no response from Jaswaldo. As you look around, it seems he has slipped away. That son of a bitch. Well, that would explain the check for our passive perceptions. <sighs> I... I'm gonna walk back over to where Casimir and his sister are hanging out. Okay. And she looks and says, Good. I'm just about done. And she shuts her book. All right. 
You seem <sighs> to have perhaps lost a compatriot. Oh, that's um, a shame. Are you at all versed, or either of you, Casimir or um, uh, Petrina, uh, versed in finding magics? Ugh. Finding what? Find, like, magics that do finding. Oh, like divination, dear, yes? Sure. Yes. Is it really necessary? Yes. Do you have anything of his? Mm. Oh, uh, his his pipe didn't. Someone, Someone picked it up. That. Maris picked it up. Meta alert. I did pick it up. I was in the room when that happened. Give it yeah, to no, me. I grabbed it because <laughs> just Waldo, him leaving it was like the most out of character thing. Give it to me. Okay. okay. I wish you'd say please. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Hands it over. Hmm. Very good. Now, I'll need a few minutes. She takes the pipe, focuses on it, and begins to cast a spell. I watch. <clears throat> Are you all going to do anything in the meantime? She... Just watch. Yeah, I mean... and keep an eye out. All right. Interested in how Diver you found will... a, a mirror. Diver will go next door and push on the... Uh... Worth a thousand gold pieces. <gasps> <laughs> all right. Um... <laughs> All right, so this is interesting. <clears throat> um, just Waldo, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. First things first, I don't want to ruin this opportunity, but does she have a mirror worth a thousand gold pieces? Her, let's see. Wait, Her I know focus. she was pretty much focus covers up to zero cost in it's, but it's listed I've rolled a 6 DM gotcha her she is able to use the staff as her focus okay um and she She kind of, you can see her kind of closing her eyes a bit, looking around, holding tight to the staff. He's nearby. Doesn't surprise me. And she casts um, another spell as she walks out of the crypt. Can I tell what she casts first? You would know it. Um, she walks out of the tomb and you um, uh, see she, uh, assuming you're not counterspelling her. <laughs> May, no, no. As she walks out of the tomb, she casts Wall of Force. Us in. What? She, she, she cast it in to lock us in. No. Oh. And she walks around the corner and points towards the door. There's your missing one. Where? Where? She points to tomb 26. So he's just hanging out in there? And she wall forced the doorway? Is that Indeed. Okay. I told you I can be agreeable. But... I'm getting tired of this and would prefer to go soon. What? I'm in agreement. I just would like to make sure that our ally is actually still our ally. Mm. Hope you can understand well, that. Go ahead, then. 
let me know if you'd like to drop it or if there's something else you'd like me to do. Thank you. Hello. Can I see him? Yeah. In there? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's an invisible wall. Okay. We would do in just a moment. Oh. What are you busy with? Jesse. What are you doing? Asking as a friend. Anything that would be obvious to physical inspection, just Waldo. That... Holding the rapier. Yep. Is that the new rapier? Or the old rapier? It looks like the new oh. one, I'm assuming. I don't think this is good. Yep. The panic intensifies from your sword. Or the sense of dread. The sense um, of hope continues to fade. Why is it? Ethelflaw, so, what's going on? My, do you guys remember that that sword that, that I picked? Sword is that, intelligence, yes. Yeah, yes. uh, so... One that, that was good enough for it? So yeah. it's... I was good enough for it, thank you. Just. So, it's... It's kind of throwing my emotions a little out of whack at this point, because it's having such strong feelings, and now... What I thought before, it was giving this very hopeful, positive sensation about Jezwaldo when we were at the at the other tomb Interesting. where we where we found the rapier okay the swords That's... were forged together they're a pair so, or they were so, held by people who cared about one another so mm -hmm. that hope is gone and okay. we need uh, to get that sword away from him now Katrina, can magic be cast through Wall of Force? No. That's one of the beautiful parts about this spell. It cannot. Okay. What about physical attacks? No. Probably not. Of course not. Okay. Okay. So... I'm sure he's getting nervous in there, the way you're talking. Hi, yeah, can the man get some privacy? Are you doing okay? I'm fine. What, what are, are you, you doing with the sword? We're getting to know one another. Mm. Ah, he's attuning to it. In what way? Has he had long enough to attune? It's been, been about been... 45, 50 minutes. He's Maybe been doing this the whole time. I thought time he was with ticking. us for some of those tombs. Uh, he snuck off on one of the last tombs when you were investigating Sergei and everything. And as you came back to the... yeah. Okay, it's been cool. a while. It's been about 25 minutes of real life. So. Okay. Okay, so we. So do we get the sword away from him? Is that the There's deal? a chance if she drops it, I can hold him. <sighs> Why did you just ask him? Just Waldo, could, could we, could, could one of us see the sword? Why? I'm just curious about it. I don't believe you. At I've Apple, always been honest with you. Athelflaed yeah. is getting sad feelings from her sword about your sword and also the prospects of you. So how about you just well, let us yeah. see the sword for a second and then we so, kind of sort this out a little bit. No, I don't think, think so. I want, I want to see this through. I've uh, long suspected that it is possible for one of us to find out everything there is to know about one of these things without having to go through other people. Letting other people know our secrets. I want this for myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The sword doesn't seem to want it. That's not what it's telling me. 
Excuse me if I don't believe you. So, so if my sword, we had to be good, and let's say that this sword is somehow paired with my sword, and Jezwaldo's been acting very strange lately, and his sword, if he's being honest, and his sword wants to stay with him, could it be the reverse of my sword? Which... Uh, we need to get that sword away from him, like, now. Five minutes ago. I Ten prepare an action ago. to cast hold person until uh, upon Petrina dropping wall of force and tell her to drop the wall. <sighs> My lord, now might be a good time. <gasps> what? <clears throat> what? Interesting. Did uh. you drop the wall? Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. so you hear a voice that says, You're all falling apart. And it doesn't have even anything to do with me. I thought we had a leader in the party. I thought you were all intelligent, resolute, well-meaning, well-studied, faithful, cautious. None of these things, I guess. Where's the voice coming from? Rude. It is coming from... Um, down in the south the southern area here mm. hold that thought Petrina Wait, I what? move in that direction no Claire we gotta get the sword away from Giswaldo Claire <clears throat> oh she down here? oh she you see the figure of Strad von Sarovich Leaning against the wall here. I take it it'll be soon. What? That blade never suited me, but it will... Grant him some enormous power. So throw, down you your, throw down your brother's sword. Uh, excuse me. Throw down my brother's sword. It belonged to him rightfully. And I will remove him of it. Your brother's dead. And give you the symbol back. You Where's have my, my word upon my brother's name. Why is Throw it down the you, hilt my of my brother's sword. Strahd. You have but a few minutes, Claire. The symbol and your friend back for my why, brother's sword. Why would we want him back if he's betrayed us? It wasn't his fault, you know. So is he yours now? I am, um, well, I have some influence over him, yes. I run back. Same plan. Nope. You have but a moment, Claire. Cast it into Sergei's tomb and it's done. Um, prep action, hold person upon her dropping wall of force, which I will ask her to do. Are you sure this is the way? Look at me, Claire. 
I'm done making deals with you and your people. I'm asking one more time. I swear upon the name Sergei Fonsarovich, my beloved brother, give back his sword and leave with your disgusting symbol and your friend. Katrina? Do it, Claire. So be it. You put too much faith in this elven wizard, Claire. And, oh boy, not what I was expecting. I think probably the next actions are going to have to happen in initiative order. My friends, it's probably best we pick this up next week too, because this could last <gasps> oh my quite God. some time. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Waldo. Uh, Damn it, just Waldo. Sorry, everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually really very, very sorry. No, it's not. Hey. Oh, just Waldo's not. Yeah, no, it's. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, 